It's the Shogun Army in the building. The brother JT and Big A are here. And today's episode, we're going to cover the, the digital dog show, everything from what it is to how do you get in to how you can win that money. If this interests you in any way, go ahead and make sure that you're staying tuned in for the entirety of the episode to make sure you get the best possible chances to win in this digital dog show. But before we kick this off, let's go ahead and give you all that title so we can pay our sponsors. This for you. Too many mind. Too many mind? Mind the people. Mind the people. Let him go, Andre. Mind the enemy. Too many mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Everybody, everybody, welcome to the building. As y'all begin to pour in here, man, I'm going to kick it with my brothers and send some shout outs. First of all, shout out to the wifey. Shout out to Big Sis. Shout out to Mr. Biggs. And shout out to Kendrick McFarlane. But we now know who you really are. So big shout out to you for your support. And thank you. Uh, Big A and JT, if y'all got any shout out. Yeah, Um, man. Yeah, shout shout out to all the everybody on the panel, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. And uh, you know what it is, man. I'm back up in this bad boy like I left my wallet and keys. Oh, yeah, man. Salute everybody who in the chat right now. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy JT back on this live, man. Feeling good to be back live. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Let's link them up on this next digital dog show, Drake. Big eight. Yes, sir. Saying? Yes, sir, man. Hey, y'all. So for those of y'all who are new to the channel or those of y'all who are listening and can't see, tonight I'm going to be reading off the actual rules and regulations for the Digital Dog Show. Additionally, I'm going to be covering some of the ins and outs that I think will be most beneficial to those of y'all who are entering. And we're also going to cover in some of the things that maybe you don't know how to judge a dog. Or maybe when you go to buy a puppy, you don't know what flaws to look for. So we're going to be reading straight from the industry standard on the American Pit Bull Terrier on everything from the rooter to the tutor. That's right. The nose, the head, the shoulders, the withers, the hocks, the pasterns, and everything in between there. So if that's something that interests you or you're trying to learn, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like notification bell and share the video because the more people we have to compete, the more prestige there is in winning. All right. With that being said, y'all, we're going to go. I'm going to start by just starting to read the rules. Now, I'll be reiterating these throughout the throughout the entirety of the registration process starting August 15th, and it'll run all the way through September 15th. But I'm going to read the rules straight from the description. If you're getting in here late or you need to see the rules, they are posted in the description. Also, Mom Dukes in the building, watching from Facebook. Salute, Mom Dukes. We appreciate you. All right, y'all. Salute, so here we salute go. Mom Dukes. Salute. Um, so, JT and Big A, at any point in time, if y'all need to interject, my brothers, y'all already know, man, we don't step in each other's toes. We got mad love over here. So if y'all need to jump in, my brothers, I got mad respect for y'all, and y'all jump in when y'all need to. Yes, sir. Uh, so the September 2023 Samurai Kennels Digital Dog Show rules. These are the official rules that are going to be posted and what is going to govern this digital dog show. The general rules, all submissions are due to the WhatsApp or submissions can be directly uploaded to YouTube by no later than September 15th of this year. The earliest you can submit a submission is August 15th this year. At that point, uh, any earlier than that, uh, we won't accept it. Any later than that, we won't accept it. And that's simply to keep make sure we're, we're all grown men with, with families and, and people to take care of. So that's a 30-day window for you to get your submission in and ask questions. Also, if you have questions after we open up the submissions, you can come into the lives or you can contact us in the phone number, which I'll post in the chat. So... The next thing is, uh, if you look in the, if you look in our description, the link to our WhatsApp is actually posted in the description. So you can click on that link and add yourself as a member to the WhatsApp now and familiarize yourself with the app. Now, for WhatsApp, it's the reason we're using WhatsApp is it doesn't limit how much a video you can upload to our uh, chat. Uh, it, it is, there's no there's no video limit. However, submissions will be no more than one minute. We'll cover that later. However, my preferred method for you to get your submission in is for you to upload it to your personal YouTube. 
mark the video as unlisted and share the link to the WhatsApp or share the link directly to me. You can have my email and share the link directly to me. I will download your video and then copy and paste it into the actual competition video. Now, the reason why I suggest this method is this is going to give you the highest quality for your video in the submission. And we're going to give you some tips and tricks on what we saw from the last digital dog show in this episode for what we like and the different angles you can work on. Big A and JT, y'all got anything so far? Oh, uh, no, nah, man. Uh, you just keep on going, man. You know, for us, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. for us, uh, for us, like the picture showing, you know, uh, you know, make sure you got just good hands, you know what I'm saying? Good exercise, confirmation dogs, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a uh, really can't explain. I mean, you can't explain it, but really, you got to see it to, you know what I mean, to critique and whatnot. But uh, but just make sure you get your hands in good shape, man. You know what I mean? But I'm passing it on, yeah, and definitely, uh. Get everybody, all, all, all your uh, peers, um, to vote for you. You know, uh, yes. Don't, don't be scared to promote yourself. Uh, as far as you know, getting everybody you know, you know, to come and support. Absolutely. Uh, your your team is like your pit crew. They are literally essentially like the they can make or break you in here. And uh you have to, you have to have to promote yourself, promote yourself, promote yourself. Hey, welcome to the chat, Shinobi. Um, stay active in the chat, man. And what we'll get you your hardware sooner than later in here, man. Uh also for those of y'all who are new to the chat, uh come January 1st. I'm not taking any more moderators. So come January 1st, the only way you can get a moderator is to become a member. So right now, this is the time to get in on the bottom floor. Also, with the digital dog show, this is the last one with free entry. So spread the word, spread the word, spread the word because in the future they will cost and we'll talk about that after this digital dog show culminates but right now let's get in on the bottom floor let's get in and build up something special all right pushing along to the next topic the next topic on in the rules is what each submission should include so i'm gonna break that down for y'all and if y'all got questions put them in the chat and we will get to those questions uh as we go along in here all right each submission should include your name or the name of your kennel the dog's name, and if you have it available, you can either post their online page or get tell us a little bit about the pedigree. So when we're announcing the dog, we can give a little bit of the background of the dog. The video should meet the following criteria for the dog that you're entering, and these are covered in chapter one and chapter two of our rules. Your submission is only complete when you receive your three digit confirmation number, and basically that's the number that will appear on the screen when your dog is on the screen for people to put that number. It basically, if your number is 001, when people want to vote for your dog, they'll just go into the into the comments and post 001 in the comments. And then we tally up how many 001s are in the comments and that's who wins. So we get rid of the nepotism and the favoritism and literally the crowd picks the people's champ for our competition. All right. Now. Ensure you state in your submission which competition, singular, or competitions, plural, you want your animal entered into. For an example, if you have a male dog that is an adult black male dog, I would not just enter him in best male. I would double dip and enter him in best male. If he's in good shape, I would also enter him into best condition, which is a fun show. And I would also enter that dog into best black dog, which means that your dog will be in three separate competitions. The best black dog and best condition are fun shows awarding $25 to the winner of that show. Best male is its own competition, which is a points awarding competition or a real competition. And that competition awards 50 bucks to the winner. So if you won all three classes, best male, best condition, best black dog, you would leave with a total of $100. All right? So I highly encourage you, make sure that when you when you drop your submission, you, in its entirety, say, hey, I want my dog entered into these competitions. It's free. It's a matter of reading the description, which I'm also going to read the classes in just a moment, and getting your dog signed up for whatever you want them signed up for. That is your responsibility. And once again, for those of y'all who are interested, Make sure y'all read the rules for yourself and contact me, man. Like my number is going to be in the description as well. Also, shout out to my brother Ray Imperial in the building in the Cam Glamorati. Shout out. What a do. 
Hey, my father want to say appreciate you, mom. Appreciate you. You know what I mean? <laughs> appreciate it. Also, yeah. man, party boys, party boy Woods in the building. Salute, big bro. Yeah, be salute. Look at y'all. Y'all done woke up a sleeping giant. 601, welcome to the chat. 601. What's up, man? What's up, with What's up, with 601, what's up, with it? Man, it's all good, man. I'm glad to hear from y'all, man. Yeah, yeah man. Sir. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, bro. What's going on, man? Man, man we on this digital dog show. Yeah, bro. And, and 601, man, if you got anything you want to add from your perspective, bro, once we get rolling again, um, we'll add it. I, but now that I got now that I got a decent amount of y'all in the chat, man, I want to get some shout outs real quick, man. Uh, let me go to my notes yeah. real quick. Make sure I'm giving the proper shout outs. And then also um, for y'all brothers, for my brothers on the panel, if y'all got any shout outs, anybody who did anything great or that motivated you or inspired you this week, make sure you shout them out and keep them motivated as well. All right. So my first shout out is to my big bro, Apache Kendall is my mentor. Apache Kendall is back. And he is breeding. He's a, he has a litter on the ground right now. So y'all reach out to Apache Kennel through either our comments or you can reach out to him directly if you have his number. But he has puppies available right now. All right. Then I want to shout out Brother Tony M. Tony M just subscribed this morning for a membership to the Shogun Army at the foot soldier level, which means that Tony M has made that fervent commitment to the cause and he is becoming a subscribed member, which means he's going to be checking in every month for our members. Now, our members get, uh, videos released every week that are not available to the public. They're members only videos. Also, there are members only lives and there will be some raffles that will only include members. Now, we're still going we're still going to bless the public. We're still going to show y'all love to the public, but those who take that extra time and go that extra step to become members will have raffles that are exclusive to them. One that sis mentioned last week was uh the raffle for if you buy anything for greater than 20 bucks off of our site, you're entered into a raffle. Now, to guarantee that at least one of those winners is a member, we will have the mass drawing for everybody, and we will also have a members only drawing, which guarantees that the members will win at least one of the award, at least one member will win at least one of the awards to ensure that the members have the highest probability for success in the Shogun Army. Thank you for your following. All right. Uh, then I want sir. Y'all brothers got anything? I know I know I got diarrhea out of mouth right now. Y'all brothers got anything? Oh else? no, keep keep it going, man. Big <clears throat> shout out to Tony M, man. Glad you were bored, bro. Already, already did. I want to say shout out to the chat, man. Everybody out there from the dope. And I see y'all there, sister. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Shout out to everybody, man. Yes, we sir. Roll. Yes, sir. Hey man, that's that's big stuff, man. Hey, and then I want to give a special shout out. To my brother Red Leash Kennels. For those y'all who don't know or don't follow Red Leash, Red Leash had a birthday on August 6th, man. Shout out to Red Leash, man. You another year greater, my brother, and with age comes wisdom. So salute to you, my brother, and keep the game pushing. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Welcome Down Ram. Welcome Down Ram had a live last night, and I don't know the name of the channel, y'all, but I, I went by there and supported Welcome Down Ram. Y'all know Welcome Down Ram comes to our channel quite often and shows us love, so I wanted to show him love. He gave some of his backstory, so a lot of y'all don't know, even though Ram likes to, crown, likes to clown around and stuff, man, he's a very eclectic brother. That brother raps. He handles dogs. He does everything in between, man. So salute to him, man. Salute, salute. Business owner. Yeah. Big shout out. For Big real. shout yeah. out to Walk Down, man. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, oh, and shout out to Brother Ray. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know, Brother Ray and I were on a panel on Souls uh Bulldogs Boxing and Bullshit on Monday night. And man, hey. we covered some stuff, man. Hey man, that that was a good show, bro. I was glad I wasn't even on the panel. I was just happy listening to it. It was highly interesting. I was highly entertained, bro. That was a good show. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, so uh so brother soul will be in here in a little bit, party boy woods. And uh my brother soul, what I would start doing, y'all, for my brothers, 601, M1, JT, Soul, Big A. I'ma just when they drop videos, y'all, I'll just start putting them in the in the in our description. Um, these descriptions I, I pre-drafted in the week before, so that's on me. Also, shout out to City Boy Kennels in the building. <clears throat> shout out, City Boy. Hey, shout out, City Boy. Shout, shout out, out shout out, City. All right, y'all. So if y'all just getting in the chat, man, if y'all just getting in the chat, 
what we're covering right now is the Digital Dog Show. If y'all begin in the chat, you can go back and rewatch it. Because I'm trying to structure tonight's show where the first hour is giving you all the pertinent information to the Digital Dog Show. And then we're going to go into the actual form and building of a dog and talk about the parts. For those of y'all who might not know all the parts of a dog. So you can describe a dog accurately. And when you're looking at a puppy, you can assess that puppy with the highest structure. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to push with it, y'all. So it says, for all competitors... Please ensure you have received your digital number for your registration before September 15th. Now, keep your receipts. Keep all your messages from me, y'all, because what's going to happen is we're going to get an influx probably right around between September 10th and September 15th because all y'all boys got y'all dogs in keep, which means y'all going to be trying to make sure they're in tip-top shape. Y'all want to make sure they are shredded up and ready to go, and I understand that. So make sure if you're getting in there late and you don't get, in, don't get your submission in early in the August portion of it, that you make sure you get your confirmation that we have you and you, if you have all your numbers. If your dog is competing in multiple ones of our different uh, categories, make sure you get a different number for each category, i.e. if your dog is competing for best female, you'll get one number for best female. If your dog is competing for best condition, you'll have a separate number for that same dog for best condition. And, the, and the, your number will be in the order that was received. So if you're the first person and you entered all the competitions, then all your numbers will be 001 for all the competitions. And the only people that will know your numbers will be you and my panel here, which means that you have to promote your number. You have to go tell, hey, mom, I'm number 001. So you need to make sure you're in there and you click it in for, for number 001 for my dog in whatever show your dog is in. Build your hey, bud. Dre, can, can you say that one more time, please? All right. That part so right there. If you Once you get your digital dog show number, let's say you're competing in best condition and your number is 003. It is on you to push your message out to your people. Push it out. Make sure your family is tracking. Hey, y'all, I'm number 003, best condition. Get in there when they air the best condition portion of the show and vote for my animal. Put it in the chat. Overload the chat because all of y'all have the same opportunity to campaign for your dog. Now, mind you, if there's a disparity or there's some weirdness going on, then a judge will step in and will take control of the situation. But typically, the judges are only going to step in if there's a tie, all right? So if there's not a tie and there's a clear winner, the people have spoken. Let's just hope that the people who are involved in American Pitbull Terrier are picking the best representation for the breed because we're trying to advance and elevate the breed that we are so hooked into, all right? And let me see... Uh, Y'all brothers, anything you want to add? Uh, no. Nah, so what happens if instead of them giving out the dog's number, they're giving out the name instead of the number? So if you slip and you give out your name, that's fine, man. That's fine. That's that's on you. Um, I'm trying to give it. I want the dog to get the. I want the dog to get the glory, not the person. However, if another competitor finds out who you are and they tell it to try to slander you then that can, that will be automatic grounds for removal from the competition all right so i don't even care if you i don't care i'm gonna use an example if brother jt was in a competition and he told uh another competitor what his number was i don't know why you would do that but you know we, we know each other's dogs man we know each other's dog and so if another competitor was like yeah hey, y'all that dog right there is jt don't vote for him that's foul yo that's foul because we should be we should be basing our decision based on the dog, the animal itself. All I hope right. that clarifies that for you, yeah, baby. Yes, hey, uh, I got to let me let me interrupt this real quick, y'all. I got a special shout out. Elevated Kennels in the building, y'all. And if y'all didn't see the Elevated Kennels interview, it is next to Apache Kennels. It is my highest grossing interview. It's the two parter, and he really brought out some stuff about the breed and preserving the breed as a legacy dog man that is is substantial and and it will carry us into the next decade. So I want to say a special salute to you, Elevated Kennels. Thank you for your support, my brother. Thank you for your yes, support. Sir. Salute, salute, yes, Elevated, sir. man. That was a good interview, man. Salute, Elevated, man. Salute, baby. Also, <clears throat> also man, y'all check out every Thursday I drop my interviews. Part one of the um, the Outlaw Texas Kennel interview will air tomorrow. Every Thursday after the live, I have something for y'all first thing in the morning, and we'll air that, we'll air that portion of the show. And then you can find out we're going to be talking about uh, Top Dog. So, you know, wall climb, slap mill races, weight pull, things of that nature. And since he's actively competing in those things and he's going to the nationals, I thought who better to interview on that than somebody who's going to nationals with that. So a uh, big shout out to the brother David Valdez. Uh, 
Oh yeah, big shout out to brother JT, JT, JT on that interview too, y'all. Shout out to brother JT, yo. Yeah. Shout out, yeah. Yo, shout out, man, yo, man. Yeah. One door, shout, man. shout, shout out, out. out Texas yeah. Kennel, man. David Valdez, man. Yes, sir. Y'all be on the lookout for that interview. You hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, Mr. Big said this dog show gonna be legendary. Hey, what oh, it yeah. is gonna be is it's gonna be legendary because of people like you and Elevated Kennel. And City Boy, shout out, shout out to City Boy again, man. And everybody else who comes through here because all of y'all make it legendary. All of y'all in my eyes, yep. in, in 20 years, we sitting at a pick picking. God bless Tom Garner, live that long. When we all sitting at a pick picking, like, shout out to all the OGs right now, but we're going to be those OGs. We're building yeah, that yeah. legacy right now. Hey, that's real. That's real. Yeah, white sir. Guy, you know, we got to carry the torch, man. Yeah. Yes, that's sir. Real. And um, I want to shout out to the OGs too, man, because I know I say some things about the, the, the bite work and stuff, man, but I want to make this clear, very, very clear. If you are OG in the game, there is no disrespect intended at all. And I apologize for anything I may have said to offend any OG, but if it spurred you, please think on it and let it resonate. But I swear to none, I respect what all the OGs did for the game. That's every one of y'all, man. Facts. Big time. For real, for real. Yeah. Hey, yeah, man. Hey, since you watch your language in that chat, um, yes. I like, <laughs> yeah, I like this, sis. I like this. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, hey, y'all. So, uh, so far, for those of y'all who are just kicking in at the twenty minute mark, man, what me and my brothers have covered is basically the the who, what, when, where, and why, and how to get into the digital dog show. But now I'm going to talk about the classes because I keep saying register for the classes, register for the classes. I'm going to break those classes down for you and give you my perspective on each one of these classes. All right. But I'm going to read this in the opposite order that it appears on your description. I'm going to start with the bottom, the lowest, the lowest award winning uh, classes and work my way up. And this is it. The choice is the Shogun's choice. My panel will get together and vote on this animal. The Shogun's choice dog is going to be a dog that the Samurai Kennel and the Shogun Army are going to sponsor from this from this digital dog show until the next. Every month, we'll give a stipend of anywhere from $50 to $200 to that kennel to help with dog food and to maintain that dog, all right? Also, that kennel dog will be featured on our thumbnails. We'll, we'll have a T-shirt for that dog. That will be the dog that we're pushing forward as the image that the Samurai Kennel thinks that American Pit Bull Terrier should be. And if your kennel or your camp has a dog like that, man, push that dog, all right? They push all this stuff, man, whether they look good or not, man. There's some ugly bullies that are on T-shirts right now. Yeah, Easty Westy right. and overbites, underbites, but they 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 got pride in it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. sir. They yeah, got we, a, we got they we got, got a campaign. The real, yeah, we got the real deal, dogs, man. So y'all come and push these hounds, man. Push these APBTs, man. Real yes, sir. Oh, this yes. here gonna be legendary. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. So you know, yeah. yeah. Those that those hey, that. No, 601, you go ahead, big bro. Hey, when you speak, I'm listening. Oh, no, yes, no. Oh, no, I was just going to say those that know, you know what I'm saying, and know how important that this going to be, you know what I'm saying, they're going to take it serious because anytime, you know, you finna get sponsored for the next couple months, you know what I'm saying, to help with dog food, bro, and, uh, you know, your dog will be on a T-shirt and just going to be getting represented, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know, he earned it. You know what I'm saying? You earned it's it. Big. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. if, so, man, hey, what's understood? Need no explain. I wish I could put me one in the win, lose, or <laughs> draw. You know what I'm saying? I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm telling you. you know what I'm <laughs> Man, I'm going through my, hey, I'm going through my phone trying to see if I can find some more pictures of my dog. You hear me? Yeah, for real. Well, dog food, y'all gonna be yeah. Like, Cause one thing, one thing yeah. for real, one thing for real, what it did, bro, it, it got me out there even more. You know what I'm saying? Like, as people, they they know you ain't bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know you know how to yeah. work around it. They know you, you know what I mean. You know you, you know how to exercise one and put it in keep. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, like, it upgrades your brand, you know what I'm saying? If you got any type of marketing skills or business entrepreneur skills, it, it upgrades your brand, you know what I'm saying? So, yep. who wouldn't want accolades for their dog for their right. kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. yeah, so, yeah and, and and with that being out there like that, it's gonna make people really want to put their best foot forward because that's what we want, uh, you know, the best representation 
of our breed. Right. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And that representation, that's why I go to the people always. The people yep. that, that, that feed these dogs and pick up their shit and do all that stuff, that's who makes the standard. I don't yep. care what they say, what they call on a pit bull on TV. The people that or the people that are breeding them and, and doing CPR on these dogs and you know to make sure them dogs survive the, the, the breeding and everything, bro. Like uh that that's the people that's the people that I that I care about, man. Oh, also let me stop. Hey, let me stop. Another Shogun, another samurai just came in the building. Shout out to Solo, but connect the kennels. Anytime oh, my members really? come in, I'm giving them the treat they deserve. Shout out, yes, Solo. Sir. Hey, shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Connect it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. Um, let me ask y'all this for the members. And just think about being a potential member. What do y'all think about if we start raffling off one puppy a year to, just for members? I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave that to y'all to decide what y'all think about that, but one puppy a year just to members. Because if you remember, that means you, you're bought in enough that you're going to actually watch and see the direction we're trying to go in with our dogs in the, in the Shogun Army. So uh, that's something I, I thought in the chat. I'm not saying yeah or nay, but I, I rock I rock, yeah. I rock with my people. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You mad. Man, ain't no problem with that, bro. Yeah. You know, you say like once a year, but you know, shit, man. I ain't no problem with that, man, because you know, Man, we know what's going on. Yes, sir. You know, we go, yeah, we know what's going on, man. Hey, look hey, at that, man. God bless. You see, you see, you see elevated. Hey, <laughs> elevated. He's stepping the game up. Hey, it's, yes, it's, guess what, man? Elevated already talked to me offline when we did that breeding video. That mm-hmm. makes that Freemason blood and that Saki blood. Oh, that's gonna be a cross yeah. like Red Boy Jocko in the future. Just see y'all tracking. Man. You know? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, they better, that out here. <laughs> they better keep up with. They better keep up with. For, uh, for, yeah, keep up on them. You heard? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They better try to keep the eyes on what's going on. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But let me highlight y'all about oh, this real quick, brother. <clears throat> so. The fun classes, and I'm gonna read. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with the bottom of the fun classes and work my way up because obviously we're gonna end with the with the Don Dada of the shows. The fun classes are as follows: best yard. Guess what, y'all? You could have one dog and enter best yard. However, the more dogs you got for best yard, the more I'm, the more votes we're, we're, I'm, I'm putting in. And if any samurai votes for you, it's equal, it's equal to five points from a regular voter. All right. If any member that's not competing votes for you, that's equal to two votes, all right? So what's going to happen is this, all right? Best yard, I've already seen some yards. I've mentioned some yards, and I've kind of given y'all the vector for what I see the best yard going to. Yards like Elevated Kennel, Martinez, Outlaw Texas Kennels. These are yards I've mentioned in previous shows that they're just clean yards with a lot of dogs and very, very good, like structured. You know these dogs are taken care of. And the purpose of this class is to inspire young dog men and old dog men alike to clean up them yards and keep them dogs in a sanitary state at all times. Uh, mind you, they're going to shit. They're going to poop. They're going to eat they're gonna drag it around that's gonna happen but if you're gonna go live or you're gonna go on a video and not clean that up man if you do it on video like that imagine what you're doing when you're not on video oh um, bro man. Mm. Okay. man message yeah oh man what's understood need no understanding man yeah, man you gotta keep mm-hmm. your eyes clean <clears throat> man. Yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> You know, know. she especially talking about making a video for other people I had to see. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Damn, bro, you ain't gonna got them straighten up at that <laughs> point either, man. You cold with that thing. I'm scared of you. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> finna sit nothing your way. Yeah. No, nah, for real, man. Like we all like we always say over here, man. He dogs like our kids, bro. So man, we gonna take care of them how we would do our kids, you know what I'm saying? Even though they outside on trains and kennels or whatever, like we gonna take care of that tile business, you know what I'm saying? And make sure they up to part. So you know, man, please don't post that, man. You know what I'm saying? So much heat on the community from ages ago. So man, just 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 do your part and make sure the breed is in the best light. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Brother Solo, they hit a yard at least once a day. I got mine above ground kennels. Just go in and scoop the dookie, spray out with the hose. And don't forget to put a, sprinkle a little lime on there, you know what I'm saying, to keep that smell down. So you ain't got to deal with that all the time out there, Brother Solo. But yes, sir. 
All right, y'all. So now that we got the yard taken care of, the next <clears> class we compete in, or that y'all will be uh, authorized to compete in, is best condition. All right. Now, if you're going to condition a dog, their immune system actually is going to be a little bit weaker at first when you start going into the conditioning because the level of stress you're taxing on that dog. So if you don't have a clean area set up for that dog, man, uh, that kind of they kind of tie into each other, man. So best condition is going to be for the dog that actually, in my opinion, what I'm looking for as a, as a as a as a person is just like if I was just voting on a dog, is which dog looks like it could go out right now and, and go three hours. That's what I'm looking at. Now you can't tell that without testing the dog, but just off of looks alone, who, who's best condition? Mm-hmm. Brother Elevator said some real stuff too. He said he'd been on some straight legends yards and wouldn't let him keep a dog for a week because of the setups. And I will not mention it in a facts. Hey, what hey, yeah. we keep we keep it gangster. We we say what we saw, but not who. Because that, that person can get the that person can get the lesson from just hearing that they that they were wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh Go ahead, bro. Nah, bro. You you go ahead that time. Oh nah. He said uh brother Solo said he don't want his in filth. And then um six one, I'm gonna pass this one to you right here because uh, y'all know we, y'all know we answer questions directly from the chat. Brother mm-hmm. Shinobi says, How do y'all deal with dog thieves? How do you deal with dog? Oh, I mean, how do you deal with dog thieves? Yeah, how would you handle for, that? For your dog. For for if well, okay, well if somebody stole my dog and I don't know who got it, did how do I deal with that? Shit, I'm just gonna put it out. You know what I'm saying? All around, all everywhere. You know, say so everybody who think about you know what I'm saying. Howling dogs. Period. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, I'm missing this right here. This here would look like woo. Let me know. You know, and be dead serious about it. Now, if I catch somebody in my yard, yes, get trying to trying to get, them, then I'm just gonna come out the window with the 300 black eye a couple oh. times. Hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then, you know, cause I got all right to do that. Though, you know what I'm saying? But you uh, crossed that line, I did. Right? You jumped that fence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You over in this hill. You know. So, but I'm. You know. I'm. You know. I. You know. I mean. That's how you handle that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, other than that, you try to prevent it, you know what I'm saying, by keeping yeah. individuals at a distance, you know what I'm saying, and trying to be secluded, yeah. even though they'll hear it, but they won't see it, and they don't know your setup, and they don't know where your camera's at and how many cameras you got, and this, you know, so they'll be kind of skeptical about trying it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just try to take the proper measures to kind of prevent it, man, and just, you know, like that, bro, you know? <clears throat> Man, I had a couple ways, man, when I had uh my yard, man. First thing, you know, I was like the veterinarian almost around my neighborhood. So anybody dog, I guess I get calls today, like job, bro. Like my dog, boy, looking bad since you gone. You know what I'm saying? So that's like one measure, man. You know, help out others, you know what I'm saying? Then second, man, you make sure your neighbor's right, you know what I'm saying? So Right. You know, then, you know, get them them security cameras, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's always a big plus, man. Then make sure you got them proper chain setups, man. They can't just snatch them dogs off no double link. You know what I mean? Double mm-hmm. collars, you know what I'm saying? They really got to be out there. Then them dogs going to get the barking, whatever oh, else yeah. dog got oh, there, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's going to let you know somebody out there, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh yeah. But like Big Bro said, man, I catch in my yard, man. You say like three hundred blackout, man. That's your hey, you made your own bed, so lay in. <laughs> lay in, bro. You gotta, you know, come on now. You know, I hate that yeah. happen, man. Yeah. I hate, hey. you know, you know, and then I ain't gonna man, come on, man. Ooh. Yeah. That's a yeah, that's a t- that's a touchy one right there, man, boy. Come <laughs> bro. I done had that happen to me, man. That damn come home and that damn oh, phone yeah. all missing, man. And I yeah. got the Go all crazy to get them and pull out the three fifty seven man. You know what I'm saying, nigga. Then they come, you know, with with three of them, but then they still got uh got they still kept one of them. You know what I'm saying? Right. But now, man, I, man, that's a hurt feeling though. You know what I'm saying? But man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Yes, yeah I remember yes, I got sir. one stolen. I remember I got one stolen off my yard, man. I was at work and my uncle called me. He was like. Josh, man, you can't got the dog. I'm like, what, man? No, nah, man, man, my dog got stolen, bro. I'm pulling up in the neighborhood. I'm pulling up to the four way stop, son. I see my dog hanging out a car. You hear me? I'm, I know my dog. 
Yeah. And I'm talking about, so I get to stop, so I'm bro, I swung over my door, but, you know, oh boy, he saw me, you know what I'm saying? And it was a rap, but, you know, we put his name on the small, uh, on the small, uh, you know, small little spiral, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, that never happened again, you know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. man, but when it do happen, bro, man, it be, it be sickening, bro. It be yeah, sickening, like, man. So, that shit had you tripping like, man. Yeah. Ain't no way. You know, why you couldn't get this other dog? You had to take that one, you know what I'm saying? Man. Like, man. Yeah, man. I, I remember I had a German him. Shepherd. I remember I had a German Shepherd in the back. Man, why you couldn't get that dog? You hear me? Yeah, hell, man, man. But you know they got dealt with those. But man, I'm yeah. blessed, man. I, I've never had a dog stolen. Thank God, man. So I couldn't even tell you the feeling. I just try to, I try to go through whatever preventive, preventative measures I can. So I've been successful thus far, but it can still happen at any time. Uh, yeah, and then I, I, I want to say, Wait, bro, bro. Then I want to say before we go uh, any further to uh, shout out to that boy Wing Mule, Wing uh, Mule man, uh, and uh, anybody who like you know that join this show on Army bro, and you know uh, foot soldier, whatever you know what I'm saying, bro. You know what I'm saying we all got the same rank, and then if any one of y'all want to get a link, uh, get the link and. Come say whatever you want to say, you know what I'm saying? Bro, the, the flow is open to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because all, all voices will be heard, man. And ain't no big eyes and ain't no new use, you know what I'm saying? So if you ever got something you want to say, you know what I'm saying? Man, just tell him, just tell brother, see the link. He going to shoot your link and you jump straight on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you in here like that, you know? And then, sure. you, know, you, you know, you say what you got to say and you can get on down or you can ride all the way out however, bro. I ain't no big eyes and ain't no little you, bro. We glad to have you, man. Yeah. Hey, man. 601, you said a mouthful right there, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. Especially like, like, and it's to everybody, man. Like, I like typically I put the link in the chat after I've got out the points that I have to get out. But, um, and tonight that's going to be like that. But for members, uh, like typically I'm going to try to get y'all priority getting in here at, at first just because, like, y'all, y'all, y'all paid y'all good money. Like, I'm not going to let you waste your money. But, um, I'm impressed with the rules of this show, y'all, because I want to make sure I cover all the rules within the first hour of the show, and then yeah. that way, that way, when we start, when we start really getting into it, man, we can just get we can get into it and let it ride. And brother Solo, I see you in the chat, man. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some more of your comments out there, man. But I got to press with this uh, information right here, real quick. And hey, since, hey, well, oh, go, go ahead, ahead, go ahead. Oh, and just one more thing, man. Don't forget to talk about that ticket when we done. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. I gotta holler at y'all about that. But um, hey, man. So um. Uh, the next categories that you're going to see, and I'm going to read these all together because they're all, if you win, there's 25 bucks if you win. So it's best black dog, best red dog, best buckskin, best brindle. All of these are the fun classes that we're going to have. So like I said, man, honestly, there's no reason why you wouldn't enter one of the points awarding shows and then enter your dog into at least one of the other shows. Like every dog that's up for best in show should also probably be put up for at least best condition. So your dog should at least be in two different shows, Garrett. I, I don't know why you wouldn't. You know, um, like when you go to like ADBA shows, you pay for each individual show, but this is free. So I, if, me, if it's me, I'm stacking the deck to try to win something. Yeah, yeah right. It is real. It is real, right there, Drake. Cause that's why that's why I slipped up last digital dog show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's really why I still covers like, man. I know my girl. She would. But you know it's all good, man. Y'all into more than one one slot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure, sure. And I'm not gonna lie, if I got a yard of five dogs and they all look good, I got all five dogs in there. I am stacking yep. my, my favorite because at the end of the day, man, all them dogs gonna get seen, and the crowd might like one the dog that you like. The crowd might not like that dog. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, man, just uh, just just some strategies for y'all, brothers, man. All right, so. Those are the fun classes. And like I said, all fun classes award $25, but there will be no points towards championships. Also, I'm not basing the championships off of the 100 point system like the ADBA. I'm basing the championships specifically off of. Uh, your wins. So, like each win, no matter what, no matter what class, puppy, adult, female, adult male, or best in show, equate to one point. So, if you win best male and best in show, that's two points. The third point makes you a champion. The fifth point makes you a grand champion. 
All right. And so after that, it's just, it's just on you, you know, and then uh, the one time winner, so on and so forth. That is for confirmation stuff that is not to be confused with or to belittle or take away from the one time winners of the of old and in the box. The box is the box and the attic is the attic. All right. Uh, all right. <clears throat> let me. Let me uh, Uh, elevated. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep posting some of y'all, some of y'all's chats from the chat, but I'm also gonna press. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I'm also gonna press with these classes, y'all. And my brothers, if y'all, if y'all see something, man, y'all go ahead and shout out the, the comments because it's, it's hard to read for my cell phone in the comments right now. But um, all right. So the next classes and these classes were added to the points awarding classes. They were not points awarding classes last time. All right. The next class is gonna be best puppy zero to six months. The award for best puppy zero to six months is only twenty five dollars. All right. And the reason for that is those puppies are pretty much just it's basically probably the prettiest puppy is going to win. But a puppy could turn out terrible in the future. And I'm not really promoting puppies as champions. All right. But they will go up against the best male, best female uh, for best in show. So there will be puppies to be for best in show as well. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, the next class is best puppy seven to twelve months. And that is going to be awarded one point towards the championship for whoever wins that. And that is a $50 show. So if you win that show, you win $50. All right. Best female awards $50 and one point towards your championship. Best male, 50 points and one point towards your championship. And best in show will be a $100 award with one point towards your championship. So if you, if whoever wins best of their class puppy or, or female or male and wins best in show, they automatically have two points toward their championship. All right. And in our last show, uh, that was gas and go kennels. All right. So he took, he took, he took a lot of stuff, man. He took a lot of awards, man. And some of the awards he took simply because other people just didn't step up. Shout out to him. Yeah. yeah. Man. Got people scheming and plotting on the number one spot now. You know, shooting for me. What's up, man? Shout out Gas Go, man. Keep it coming, yeah. baby. Yeah. Salute hey, to that boy Triple Star in the beard. Hey, man. Salute Triple right. Star. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man. Uh, what is a. Uh, oh, Weedy Boy. I shout out to my brother, Weedy Boy. Weedy Boy been busy. I, I, bro, my prayers with you, Weedy Boy. But also, man, I appreciate you for making that video the other day. Because he, you said you said his name. You said Gasco said something to you. So you said, I'm going to say something back. I love that, man. That healthy competition, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, keep, that, that, keep it, that keeps it interesting, man. That keeps it very interesting. Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah man. man. All right. So hey, boy. those are – let's go ahead. Go ahead. Single one. That boy – that boy, that boy, we the boy laying the cut for Gag Go, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Gag Go, you heard that, Lalo? Oh, man, boy, we yeah, got man. to chop a loaded. We <laughs> got to chop a loaded with the ski mask on, man. He ready, man. Oh, yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of the chat real quick, I see y'all boys talking about cameras out there, man. And uh, so the cameras I use are uh, Blink cameras, and they can record. They have night vision. They can be completely black outside. They record. They are battery and they they have battery and corded power. So even if the power goes out, the battery will still carry it for for days. All right. Uh, so that's what I use, man. It, it's very good motion sensing, and you can extend the distance or close the distance down however far you want it to. You can even turn it up to reach certain decibels and listen for certain sounds like babies crying or glass breaking. Hmm. Oh, out, uh, Outlaw Texas Kennels in the building. Salute, big dog. We just talked about your interview that's coming out tomorrow, bro. Salute to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Outlaw. Yeah. Baby, bow, dear. Salute, man. Salute. Yes, sir. Wing Moon, salute, man. Wing Moon. And then, uh, so what it say? Sis say, uh, I got an appointment early in the morning. Uh, I'm going to be out, but I wanted to chime in. Hey, sis, sis always, man. One love, babe. One love. We got already, you. Man. Yeah. Big sis, salute. Yeah. Already. Thanks for swinging by. Already, man. Yeah, man. And sis, sis, I know, I know how you do. You, you, you will put your phone down, but you'll still be listening. So, brother Solo said, "Miss Williams, have a great night." Uh, brother Ray said, uh, "Peace, Queen." Oh, you, oh, you responded back. Y'all, y'all, y'all see how far behind I am with the comments, man. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. If I, if I, if I forgot you, I don't hate you. It's just my human nature, straight like that. Oh, good. 
Yeah, man. Salute, um, salute to everybody out there. Salute to Pelican Bay. Salute to uh, uh, Mr. Mike. Salute to Mr. Mo. You know, salute to everybody, man. You know. <laughs> All hey. good. Hey, that boy gas go in the, in, the, in the chat like a oh, boogeyman. Man. He said, "Who said my name?" <laughs> yeah, man, gas go, <laughs> big homie. Ah, uh, scheme, scheme, plot, plot, coming for the number one spot. Gas go, salute, why? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that boy gas go came through last time. I said, "I want all the money. Give me all the money." Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man, yeah. it's all, all rough, them boys man. who in the man come yeah. back, man. Yeah, go back, say, man. yeah, go say, we the boy. I'm the seven up? all challenges. I am the seven all challenges. <laughs> hey, hey. uh, that boy, party boy, yeah. party boy Woods, man. I want to say something, man, because this, this is this is big, bro. Party boy, I think with your mentality, man. I I know a brother down in Florida named um Vanguard K9. Like the, what you're talking about, he runs a security company just like that, bro. But you got some ideas, man. I would love for you to go on his channel and check him out and shoot him some of them ideas too, because like that's what he does, man. He takes his Dutch Shepherds and they, they patrol like um football arenas and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They check it before people go in there. And uh it's it's, it's a black owned business, man. So I, I always support that brother, man. Shout out to Vanguard K9. Yeah, all right, yes, sir. All right, y'all. Let me get to these general rules, and then and then we're gonna read through the adult dog guidance, and then we're gonna get into the, to the real discussion. All right. So the general okay. rules. These are the basic set of guidelines used to set up and allow individuals to compete in an internet-based dog competition. For this year's rules, we're keeping them as simple as possible while ensuring each dog has the ability to be seen in a great and positive manner. This will be an annual dog show, and it's a developing and grow, its development and growth is directly correlated with your involvement and feedback. All right. So everything y'all say, we take it into consideration and then we make it better each time. All right. Now, the adult dog got it. Chapter 1.1. 1 .1, and we'll be coming out with a handbook. But right now, I can't afford to be printing up no handbooks. So it's going in the description. Adult dog guidance. Chapter 1.1. 1 .1, adult dogs must be over the age of 12 months and be in good health. Dogs may show signs of scars, but should not have or be currently injured and have fresh wounds. All dogs will have a 60 second video clip consisting of one frontal photo, one side photo and one walking clip of the dog. We'll cover that later when I read that. When I read the ADBA's criteria for a dog, we'll cover that and it'll explain to you and better why we're doing that. All right. Uh, the footage that goes beyond 60 seconds. At 61 seconds, we're no longer paying attention to it. It's getting cut out of the video. It's not allowed or admissible and therefore will not be shown in your respective number time slot. So you need to capture the best 60 seconds of that dog, all right? So for me, my suggestion is 10 seconds of the frontal shot, 10 seconds of the side shot, 20 sec uh, 10 to 15 seconds of walking, and then 20 to 30 seconds of whatever it is your dogs do. If your dogs work the spring, spring pole, then a video of them working that spring pole showing all them muscles. If your dog does the, the, the flirt pole, then the you know then the video of that, you know. But my video is where I'm trying to really win the crowd, it is the video portion of the dog. All right, that's just a suggestion. All right, now, uh, for 1.3 footage, oh, we already covered that. That, and that covers, that's it for the adults. Frontal, side, walking, action video. One minute. That's it. Uh, welcome to the chat, White Chocolate. Salute, White Chocolate. Salute, right. bro. Salute, White Chocolate. Salute, bro. All right, my brothers, y'all got anything on the adult dog guidance y'all want to add in or any suggestions y'all saw for the last show? No, not right now. Uh, man, like I just said, man, just have your your left side, your right side, your frontal view, your frontal view, and you know your back area shots, man. Make sure you know some good shots, man, so we can you know get a uh, good quality, you know what I mean, qualitative, you know, uh, perspective of your dogs, you know what I'm saying, so we can judge them right, man. You know what I'm saying, so yes, yeah, sir. Videos. This is what I would do as, as as a person who has bred dogs before. I've never like 
advertise the breeding that the people didn't want to see pictures of the family, pictures of the mom, pictures of the dad. Uh, and like this right here, if nothing else, you save it. And then when you do a breeding with that dog, you got it. They just, you know what I'm saying? They just kick it over to that person if, you, if they want to see something before they come to your yard. We just talked about yard thieves and keeping people off your yard and stuff, man. All right, somebody, somebody door going off right now. I can hear your door. So be, be careful with that, y'all. Make sure you're muting those mics when we're not, when you're not engaged. All right. So uh, Puppy and Fun Class got out. Oh, before I move on, any of my other brothers want to chime in? Oh, no. All right. Big A, you good, too? <clears throat> yeah, Big A. Oh, Big A must have to make a move real quick. All right. So uh, Puppy and Fun Class Guidance. This is chapter two. So chapter one, 1.1 1. 1 is going to be the adult dogs. Chapter 2.1 is all submissions for puppies or fun classes have no specific criteria. All right. This means that you don't have to have a front of you and a side of you for that dog. However, you're trying to win. So whatever video you're going to submit to that dog needs to be well edited. And please don't put no music in the editing because if you put music in there, I'm going to remove the sound because we'll get copyrighted for it. All right. So, like, just send the video of your dog, and what's going to happen is Going Hard will be hosting it, and they'll be talking about what they see on the screen as the dogs are on the screen, okay? So don't send no music in there because it's not going to get added to your video because we we can't get paid for the view if we're using copyrighted material, all right? Uh, and it says, all submissions for fun class have no specific criteria other than the video must contain the actual animal being entered. A 30-second clip or a photograph to be judged during the show stream. So for the fun classes, we're trying to, like, because they're so easy to enter, we're trying to keep those shorter, 30 seconds or less. So just get in there, show the dog. You know, I would probably do a 360, walk in, maybe a good a good action photo, like something that just really shows what that dog is made of. And then however you do it, man. Uh, Wee Moon yeah, says... Wee Moon says, y'all better get the copyright from YouTube. Does this have a patent? This shit is genius. Goddamn. So, yes, absolutely, absolutely, man. Uh, Wee Moon, we're in the process right now of getting it completely written into our LLC. So, right now, we're a sole propriety company, which means that we have very, very limited uh, control of our assets, but we do have it in, uh, written into our business plan. But as of, it takes about six to eight weeks for our LLC to form, and we, we couldn't start forming it until we got a headquarter here in Arizona. But yes, sir, we are protecting our, our intellectual property. Yes, sir. Business All right. first. Always. Man. And, and y'all know I'm super nice, man, but I'm very business-minded, man. And that's why I always tell you what I'm doing to make the money, but I'm still going to make the money regardless, man. And I always, I, I'm transparent because y'all brothers can do the same thing. Right. Ain't no okay. stopping it, man. Ain't no <clears throat> We stronger together for real. Bro, Dre, when you get a chance, bro, Dre, yeah. you get a chance, check your cash up and make sure that went through. Make sure that came through too. Yes, sir. Hey, oh, bro. You know what tip, I'm saying? My hey, let's go. Tip, 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 all right, y'all. And then the last, the last, the last portion of this. Let me push through the, this. The last portion of the rules is uh, above all the goals shown. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Let me redo this, y'all. All right, I'm gonna get tongue tied. Tongue tied devil right here. Above all, the goal of this show is to showcase the American pit bull terrier in its best light. No registry is required. For you to compete in this show, however, your dog should appear as a true American Pit Bull Terrier. This means that we're using the criteria listed by the ADBA prior basis of colors, size, and attributes to identify the dog. At Samurai Kennels, we are aware that many dogs have fallen out of the registry due to unfortunate events. However, all dogs entered would be great candidates to be registered with schoolboy Mr. Richard Garcia's registry, the International Coalition Registry. All right? So I highly encourage y'all. We support we support those who support us, and I'm sending y'all over to schoolboy. If you if your dogs ain't registered with schoolboy, then please register with schoolboy. Uh, and like I said, International Coalition Registry, man. Y'all y'all go support y'all go support him, man. Schoolboy has delivered more knowledge since he's been on YouTube than I've read in my books in over 10 years, man. Like that 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 brother is a, is a living encyclopedia. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
All right. And then and then at the bottom of, at the bottom of the description, y'all, there's two videos. The videos I linked are the American Pit Bull Terrier color chart. In part one, I talk about blue dogs. In my show, I do not allow blue dogs in my show, even though the AB, ADBA kind of, I, I don't I can say bent or broke, but they added blue to the color chart. We will not be doing that in our, in our videos, man. Not yet. Uh, if, if I did decide to do blues, they would have their own class, man, because I, I truly believe that those dogs are beautiful, but that's not the intent that I have for pushing the breed forward. All right. Oh, that's yeah. nothing against my, my blue blue dog owners. That's just not what I, not what I was raised to believe. And what I believe is what I, what I got to stand for, man. So uh, shout out to y'all who have a man and eventually we'll have a class specifically for you to rock with your own stuff, man. But that's not, that's, that's, that's its own thing, man. All right. That's its own thing. Uh, no disrespect there. Uh, hey. it up later on. That boy, party boy Woods just joined as a member, man. Tip, tip. Hey, tip, 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 tip. Congratulations, bro. Congrats, man. Congratulations, bro. Hey, we got to talk about this blue pit bull stuff <laughs> later on, hey. man. <laughs> hey, we going to get to what? it, man. Who? Yes, sir, man. Hey, that boy, Party Boy said, let's go. Hey, man, that's, hey, I appreciate you for your fervent belief in our cause, man. Thank you so much. Oh, man, man. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, hold on. Uh, I'm about to, so, so, uh, 601, I'm, I, I just got your message, bro. I'm about, to, I'm about to shoot that thing over there right now to you. If you will, just forward it out, man. I appreciate that, bro. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. A hey, big A man, yo. Let me say, hey, we some. Hey, I appreciate that, man. ADBA <laughs> let mixed breed. ABA. Hey, solo. Yes, they did, man. And, and and that's why. That's exactly why. For y'all who don't know, man, my shorts. I do shorts on on YouTube and Insta, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and uh, TikTok. My shorts are gonna be literally. I, on my shorts, I'm literally reading from whatever I'm talk, whatever document I'm talking about. So like uh, tonight, I'm gonna show y'all like how I how I do my shorts or whatever. So y'all brothers can go out there and anything that you think that people aren't tracking, man, put it out there because shorts reach people in a much faster. It's in a much faster format. It's just to get that real information out there quickly. Yeah, buddy. Hey, one thing about them shorts, man. When I had my channel, man, them shorts really will take your YouTube off because people look at your video, but the shorts is just a little quick. Man, I'm trying mm -hmm. to say, I remember I put that first short, man. I remember I posted that boy, Tree, 614 Tree. Man, I came back, man, had 2,000, uh, 2000 likes, bro. I, that tripped That's me out, fun. man. So <laughs> I'll get them shorts, man. Shorts really better than the videos, honestly. It gets you out there faster, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, people's uh, attention span is so short, you yeah. know. You keep, you keep them uh, all the way invested in, in what they're seeing. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. And that, uh, brother Solo said they cleaned it up though with the ADPA. And then brother Party Boy Wood says, "Man, listen, I bite people heads off about them blue pit stuff, man. They just not pits, period." Hey, right. bro, big respect yeah. to that, man. And a uh, and. and once again, I, like I said, man, I'm not as direct with that, but because I know how sensitive it is, man. But I, I have to let people know where I stand on the subject, and that's why if y'all if y'all watch that short after this video over with, watch that short, and it, you, you will literally say I don't accept those to my show, man. But that's no that's no short. Like, if the people that love that, then people that love that, man, they, they love it. They love what they love. They like what they like, man. Hey, more power to you, man. If that dog, if that dog hunts for you. That dog hunts for you. But some of the, some of them dogs yes. don't hunt. That's all I got to say. Some of them dogs don't hunt. Oh yeah, six one four tree. Shout out! Yes, oh yeah, sir. shout out tree. Yes sir, yes sir. Hey man. Um. So the other thing I wanted to to give y'all man was uh, I wanted to read the breed confirmation standard to y'all, and then I wanted to uh, and then I wanted to talk about what that what what that what we're looking for because those y'all were about to buy a dog or buy a puppy in the future, man. Y'all might not know. Hey six zero one. Hey, introduce Cuz to him, fam. <clears throat> Yeah, I do. Oh, he in there. He in Good. Make sure you make sure you um, um, unmute your mic, bro. Yes, sir. What's um, up with unmute it? that mic? What's up with it, Mike T? Hey, Mike got it muted. Yeah, he got it muted. Hey, cuz when you when you on the mic, man, when you want to talk, uh, click on your screen. You'll see a little mic on there. Right now, you got a line through a diagonally. Click on that, and when that line disappears, we can hear you. But right now, we can't hear you. 
in the meantime, I'm gonna go and get this screen pulled up right here. Uh for y'all so I can read some of this stuff to y'all, man, and share and do a screen share about the uh the types. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, y'all. While I'm getting this thing pulled up, uh in the chat, once y'all can see my screen, please give me a thumbs up to let me know y'all can see the screen. Uh, so that so I can press forward with, with this right here with this information. Those y'all who are listening, I'm gonna read it out loud anyways. So even if you can't see it, you know what I'm saying, you can still hear the information that's being shared via the live, via the live chat, man. Okay. Yeah, man. Like I said, man, once y'all once y'all can see it, let me know so I can press. I see it. Okay. Okay. All right, good, good, easy money. All right, y'all. And like I said, man, typically when I read your information, uh, this is why I, when I argue with people, man, I, I really don't even like try to argue with people, man, because ninety percent of the time I'm just gonna read from you whatever, whatever, whatever the uh, accredited party is, and this is coming straight from the ADBA website, uh, the Heritage American People Terrier Competition Standard, and this was published in January twenty seventh of two thousand eighteen. Um, typically, for those of y'all who have, who have been to college or not been to college, typically uh, information is considered credible for about ten years. So, with this information being only about five years old, we still got about another five years before it needs to be updated or republished for have to have the date updated, even if it's the same information. All right, so uh, that's just that's just a Dre's little blurred moment. And if y'all, for those of y'all who don't know, blurred just means black nerd. All right, that's me nerding out for y'all. Okay, now I'm gonna read this stuff, man. At any point, if y'all have any questions, my brothers, can y'all can y'all scan the chat? And uh, if you, if there's any questions, man, please stop me so I can uh so I can make sure we uh get a uh, get the answers to those questions in the chat. All right, it says right here, due to improper use of the American Dog Breeders Association Incorporated Heritage American Pit Bull Terrier Confirmation So Standard. Being used as a breed identifier in proposed laws and ordinances, a breed standard use clause will now be a part of our ADBA heritage confirmation standard. And what this means is that they were taking the stuff I'm about to read to y'all and using it to hold it against people in dog attacks and in dog fighting busts, saying that if a dog met any of this criteria, they weren't even using it in its entirety. But like if a dog had a stop, we're talking about what stops are later, or if the dog's hocks were a certain way, they could classify it as American Pit Bull Terrier, and that dog clearly a lab, right? All right, cool. So they put a disclaimer in, 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 their, uh, in their status. All right, it says the ADBA, American Pit Bull Terrier Heritage Confirmation Show Standard, that will include the ideal condition and show weight to be between 30 and 75 pounds. All right. That is not a, that is not a disqualifying factor, but that's what is a that's what's what's considered appropriate by the ADBA. Now, mind you, we're not going to be weighing your dogs at our show. But however, I want to give you a baseline. Also, for those of y'all who this is the educational portion, the educational hour of our show. I want to give you all also something to look at when you're picking out a puppy or even when you're looking at grown dogs and you want to start measuring the, the quality of a dog and going, well, why is this person? putting this price on this dog well there's some things to look for that maybe you are maybe you're not seeing yet but once i show this to you you're not gonna be able to unsee it so before we go into this next hour with this information y'all make sure y'all ready to take that red pill my brothers y'all got anything no sir no sir keep going bro all right we're gonna rock and roll with it introduction to truly understand any that word any is definitive that means all everything and I say that because uh, people lose the sight of what it's up mean, man. To truly understand any breed standard, one must know the history behind the breed's existence. All right. So anybody in this chat right now who is a fur mommy or a tree hugger realize that the dogs we have are naturally animal aggressive. And if my dog, I treat like I said, my dog's like family. If my two sons get to wrecking, I'm going to let them wreck until I see somebody get hurt and I'm going to stop them. All right. <laughs> Um, but that's that's the same thing with my dogs, man. My dogs don't have disagreements, man. They sit that they sit they sit in the pecking order for the yard, man. That's what it is. And it says right here in the breed standard, then that's acceptable. All right. This is why I'm, I'm I'm reading off the screen. Y'all can see the same thing I'm seeing, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's sir. what I'm talking about. The purpose of a judge is an unbiased selection of quality with true breed type. And this is why we let the crowd. We want our crowd to select it because at the dog show that I won, there was a class that I watched. It was female 
16, or excuse me, female, 12 to 18 months. When that judge picked the dog that won, you could hear the crowd gasp. This is exactly why I went to the crowd picking the picking the winners. Because the crowd was like, basically, they the crowd was letting that judge know you, you know, now you know you fucked up, right? Yeah. And they, they was <laughs> and they was they were saying out loud, I don't know how that dog just won when everybody in the crowd, to include myself, was watching these female dogs in the ring, and they're like, the, the clear winner is two dogs down. What are you doing? You know, yeah. so we want to avoid that by letting the crowd by letting the crowd speak. You know, even in Rome, if you was a gladiator, and there's this gladiator sport, if you was a gladiator and you lost, right? Caesar would stand up and point his thumb sideways. And he would look to the right, he would look to the left, and the crowd would either put their thumbs up if you did a great performance and pick you up, just like the just like the game dogs we do right now. The thumbs up, pick him up. He's game. He just lost. Yeah. Or they would get yeah. a thumbs down and it was over. Execute him on the spot. This is, you know, these are, these are concepts that, are, that have been applied to humans throughout history. But I don't want to sound too preachy, but I just want to give y'all this, man. I want to articulate it in, in Dre's thought process. And this is not to negate it or to or to take away from the text that's being read. All right. Hey, Wee Moon said, Samurai, you going to get in the show? Nah, man, that would be nepotism, man. That would be completely unfair, bro. And that's, and, it, and it's unfair because how how you going to run something and be in there, man? That's that's like a self-licking lollipop. That's my favorite term to use for people who give themselves awards, man. That's a self-licking lollipop, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It, it serves nobody, bro. And but but Wee Moon, um, yeah. yes. But Wee, if you threw a show, uh, I would I, I would spread. I, I want to spread both. <laughs> If you do a show, I would jump in your show, Ween. I promise you that. I think he was asking somebody else was they gonna get in uh, uh samurai oh. show. Hey, thanks, big bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because uh I see solo connected, solo book connected say damn right. So he probably was talking to him, you know. So asking okay. him was was uh, he gonna get in samurai show. For sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, eagle, eagle fan, man. Salute, big bro. Salute eagle fan, man. Uh Salute. Oh, Cuz oh, been in the back chat, man. Y'all gotta let me know what's in the back chat, fam. Cuz, uh, welcome back to the chat, Cuz. Yeah, what up um, with it? What up with it? Shoot, can't call it, might spoil it. <laughs> hey, how you doing, bro? I'm, good. I'm just in here, man, representing, man. You know what I'm saying? Support, man. You know what I'm saying? Simmeral Kendall 601. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good brother, right like there, man. Solid brother. The boys in the Delta. Already. Salute, salute, homie. Salute. Man, Cuz, oh, can I can I please can I please brag on your can I please brag on your little bit, man? No, don't do that, man. I'm I'm cool. <laughs> don't do that, man. Don't do that. Okay, okay, do man. That. Hey, don't do, re- don't do it respect. like that, man. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, bro, we appreciate you coming through and hollering at us, man. Think so, one man. We appreciate you oh, too, yeah, man. Man, you don't leave nobody behind, bro. That's that's on God. That's what uh, I really man. Man. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. Can y'all see? Uh, is my, is my screen look blurry? Yeah, it's kind of blurry, Drake. Just a bit, man. Um, we gonna. I don't want to. I don't want to refresh it because I don't want to lose it. But I'm gonna I'm continue to read from because on my screen I can see it clearly, y'all. And then, cause uh, if you need, cause like I said, man, we don't we don't hold no punches over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if you got something to say, go ahead and say it. And you, hey, Dre, hold up, you know. And it is what it is, man. It's all love. Yeah, well, I'm just picking up and trying to, you know, what I'm saying, follow in with you guys, man. You know, just just take heed to what's going on, you know, cause uh, you know, I ain't just a dog, man, you know, but I, I uh. I rock with a dog, man. You know what I mean? A hard way. You hear me? So yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. I just want to support that. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I could, uh, you know, capitalize on some things that could be beneficial. You know, down the road to where uh, I can help uh, become a, a more of a uh, a better support system. You know? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to Eagle fan, man. Yeah, man, big shouts out to Eagle fan, field. man. Big shouts out, bro. Uh, I appreciate all y'all boys for coming through, man, because y'all didn't have to, but you did. You're here with us right now. Uh, because, man, hey, 
But um, man, this screen all blurry, man. Let me let me let me put it back to where we can see at least see the brothers. I'm gonna read to y'all from this, but this is all coming straight from the ADBA site, man. And uh, and I want to give y'all some insight to that, bro. Um, so and you know what I think it is? I think they shadow banning it from because I'm because I'm showing y'all something from another site. They shadow banning right. it, and you know it is what it is, man. But uh, we still gonna put this information out there. It's a public it's a public website. Uh, it says Charlie under under chapter one Charlie. The responsibility of judging is not to put up the dogs that conform. Correction. The responsibility of judging is to put up the dogs that conform most to the confirmation standard, leaving personal biases aside. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you right now is anything that is judged by people is always going to have flaws. Always going to have flaws. And so, uh, yeah, man, that's um, that that that's that's a big issue for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is leaving. Don't nobody want to be judged by another person. Why you want your dog judged by another person? Let let, let, let the people who let the people who buy the puppies from you and the people who supporting you and, and hitting them like buttons and you know and helping you cool your yard when it when it, when the time come. Let them people be the ones help you judge. Sure. Hockey Lee in the building. Salute Hockey Lee. And uh, for those of y'all who just get in here, man, the first hour of this show was dedicated to explaining the ins and outs of the digital dog show. And the second hour, we just educating y'all on some of the some of the confirmation standards. So when y'all are making y'all votes, y'all can cast votes on what y'all think is the real representation of a confirmation American Pit Bull Terrier. Now, mind you, the only way to prove it's a real bulldog, well, you already know how that is. But we can prove it that it looked like a real bulldog based off these standards right here. Okay. That moving said, we're gonna move ahead. So, chapter two, overall appearance, 20 points. So, if you was and, and also for those of y'all who are planning to, to go to an ADBA show in the future, this is how they weigh and this is how they're supposed to score you. All right. So, when you go in, you can kind of have an idea how, how much your dog should be should be scored at based on the other dogs, man. You know, and so overall appearance equals 20 points. Conforming to the breed, your dog should look like an American pit bull terrier. From across the ring. So at a distance, your dog should look like a pit bull. It should be sturdy, three-dimensional, giving the impression of strength, not slight or, or frail. Okay, so this here, here we go into leaning the dogs out. Some people be starving the dogs, you know, man. trying to make them look better than what he is, man. Nah, I may say not slight or frail. All right. You know, um, I can't say that my wife would kill me, but uh yeah, man. There's other things we don't want to, you know, we want to, we want to build up proportionally as well, man. I'm gonna say that much right there, baby. I know you're listening. Don't kill me, all right? But um, yeah, brother, want to chime in on, on that right there? Yeah, man. Uh, just no like you, just like you were basically saying, man. You know, when you're paying attention to these dogs for a minute, you'll see what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you can see what somebody's starving a dog got. You see him on ribs and. It's not really equating to the to the muscles, you know what I'm saying, and their legs, and you know what I'm saying. So, you know, we looking out for that, man. We looking out for that, man. You know what I'm saying. So, these dogs they gotta be proportioned, man, all the way around. You seeing dog real cage, you are gonna see some muscles, and you know what I mean. Your dog gonna look like he, you know, you. It's, it's a different like if somebody had lipo lipo suction, right? They get the yeah. fat took out of them, but they arms still jiggly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's the best way I could like put it. But you know what I'm saying? You know, your dog ribs showing, but his legs ain't got no muscles, no, no, no tone to him. You know what I'm saying? So we looking for all that, man. Hey, my fault, yeah. man. My girl calling me. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump back online right fast, bro. Hey, you ain't stay yeah. nice, like, handle, handle your business, bro. All right, a bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Eagle fan said, J Bo, salute, man. Salute to j -Bo. I don't know j -Bo in the chat or not, man, but j -Bo, if you're here, man, big ups to you, bro. Uh, I got a lot of respect for you, brother. A lot of respect for you, man. Um, yeah, man. All right. So uh, another thing I was going to tell y'all, boys, before I move on and start reading any more of this information to y'all is uh, the first thing I look at to see if a dog is condition is the top of their head and their hip bones. Um that's what I look for for emaciation. If a dog's head is sunken in, you know, a bit people got a, a nice little a nice little uh meaty meaty muscle right behind the ear, you know, that goes over the jaw, man. If that thing is sunken in and it's still like a little point on top of the head, or them uh them hip bones is sticking up, that to me is where you where you know you're getting too too um too slight. 
Yeah, when well, you can sit a ruler on, on each hip bone and it sit flush, that's that's you it's too tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh so then the other thing it says, um, okay, it says it must appear square with heavy bone, solid front end with a light and springy back end. The dog should look athletic, not bulky. Muscular should musculature should be smooth but defined. All right. So uh I don't really have much to put in on that. My brothers, if y'all got anything, uh we go ahead or if not, I'm impressed with the next portion of this uh, information. Uh Dre, you know yeah. that picture of that uh of that dog uh that we were talking about uh with the with, with no meat on the tail and everything tight on the dog. You got a picture of that you can put in the chat. Uh let me see if I can find it, man. But in the meantime, yeah, let me see if I can find it. But let me let me get through this ADBA stuff. And then what I was gonna do is I was yeah. gonna pull up, I was gonna pull up the uh, correct feet, correct correct bite, all that stuff, and um, uh -huh. and show pictures of what we talk about from this from this from all this all these words I'm reading. But uh, let That's me right. let me answer Shinobi question. Shinobi said, "Any legends taking part in the show?" So it's gonna be hosted by Going Hard and. Uh, for the announcement for each one of the different classes, I intend to have as many uh, legends as I can announce the winners on on the show. So basically, like whoever wins, we tally it up, and I will send it off to a to a, the biggest person I can get or the biggest name I can get to announce the winner for each class. So you would you would have your names, your dog's name, and your name read by uh, somebody who I hold in high in high regard. Uh, strength, uh, Airman, uh, if I say Airman, man, y'all got me in work mode. But yeah, Shinobi, that's my intention. Also, I really like that name, bro. Uh, when you comment, comment again, Shinobi. If you got that, give me a thumbs up. All right. Um, so it says presentation. Presentation of an adult dog should be lean exercise, showing a hint of rib and backbone without hip bone showing, with muscles firm and defined, a clean, glossy coat with short, trim nails. Presentation of dogs in the puppy class should be of a well-nourished puppy showing no ribs, backbone, or hips. The coat should be glossy with short, trim nails. All right? So short, trim nails. Hey, uh, shout out to you. Shinobi. You got your hardware now, bro. Appreciate you. Um, any, so uh, anybody in the chat got any questions about that? Please uh, post them in the chat. I got my phone right here scrolling as I read this screen. But if y'all got any input, man, or anything y'all want to chime in, let me know. I'm also after the, after we get this done. Oh, let me let me share that. Let me share that, bro. Let me share that because they can see that. Uh, yeah, Big A, that's perfect, bro. That's perfect. And if you got them books, uh, if you got that that John P. Kobe book or that Joseph Kobe book you had, man, show them the pictures I'm, of that stuff while I'm reading it so I can uh so I can keep reading and keep pressing and get this stuff, man. That's why I'm so quiet. I'm flipping through this bad boy while you talk. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Hey, so uh Ty, welcome to the chat, bro. And the puppy age classes range from zero to six months and then seven months to twelve months, man. There's two separate classes, both of them are points to warden. Uh, and I'm asking some of y'all questions real quick, y'all. Uh, Solo said, video of open mouth and closed mouth lips pull back to show bite. Uh, Solo, we didn't we didn't require that. Um, and since I since I've already put the rules out to the public, it's not required. But if you do that, uh, anybody who's anybody who values dogs is going to want to see that that scissor bite, man. Um, thank you for that, Solo. I'm not going to change the rule at this point because I kind of already went full ten. But in the future, we will fix that. That's exactly why I have the members that I have to help me fix my my mess ups because I, I fucked that up. But yeah, in in a, in a, in a in an in person show, you're going to show that bite just so y'all tracking. Uh, Tony M. Uh, I knew it's uh, well, uh, you were I knew member Tony M, but you still a member one of our new members. Shout out to you! Welcome to the chat, and also thank you for your support in the uh, in Souls chat the other night, man. We appreciate you, big dog. Sure. So that chat, was, hey, hey, that was a good show, man. That was a good show. Yeah, man. Yeah, buddy. Uh, let me let me see. Um. All right, y'all. Flip my balance real quick, man. And I see y'all in the chat, man. Y'all brothers in the chat got that chat going off tonight, man. For real, for real. Uh, but it says uh, balance, balanced angulation of the front and rear assembly, just best at a trot. So uh, typically, if you're in an in-person show 
And in our show, this is why we want to do it is we want you to walk your dog down and back. Get a video of them walking. Now, I highly encourage you get a second person to get the video for you with the dog walking so that you can see uh, so that you can see exactly what is what is occurring, what's happening uh, with the dog's movement. Because some dogs, you know, they got they got a weird they got a weird gait or a weird way they move, man. Uh, salute, Mr. Mayfield. When Moon said, "Hey, salute, Mr. Mayfield. Welcome to the chat, man. We appreciate you for coming through and supporting us, man. Thank you." Uh, but yeah, man, I, we want that video of your dog walking down and back. And um, Tolo, once again, I, I'll fix that. I'm not gonna change it for this show because I've already put the information out there. But in the future shows, um, we will have a, we will have you show the bite, man, because that's that's important. I don't know how I missed that, but hey, man, I'm human and and, and I make mistakes, man. Please forgive me. But um, yes, sir. Uh. Height, the height, the weight ratio doesn't matter for a digital dog show. But I do want y'all to realize that um, if you're getting your dog in condition for the digital dog show, I don't know why you wouldn't show in your local area with whatever registry you're you're a part of. Uh, I know for a fact that they just came out and announced that in Cali on Riverside, California, that they're going to have a a, uh, a in person dog show there. It's six hours from where I'm at, so you know I'm gonna be making that trek over there. It's in it's November, the weekend of November fourth, and um. I'm registered with the ADBA, but I'm also going to end up, end up registering with the a a d r i as well as uh, International Coalition Registry, which, which is Mr. Schoolboy Richard Garcia, um, because I want to be able to get in, in, in as many shows as possible and uh, show my dogs in the best light, man, and, and get that feedback on what I need to add to it. And we'll talk about that in, in the latter, latter portion of the show, how to fix small fall, faults and flaws with your dog in, bre in the breeding process. A hey, triple star ABBT. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, mean, I was I was excited to see it come across the screen, man. Uh Castro. Salute my brother Castro. Welcome to the chat, bro. And for those y'all who just got here, or those y'all who are listening and just getting in and listening, uh, if y'all want to play this back, the first hour, we cover all the information about how to get into the digital dog show. And right now, what I'm reading is the ADBA confirmation standard, basically like what any person is looking to buy a dog or any person that's looking to show a dog should probably understand about a dog so you can look at the quality of that dog and the quality of their breeders putting out now mind you there's a lot of working dogs that have a lot of flaws and i'm not telling you not to buy working dogs by no means am i telling you not to buy working dogs what i am going to tell you is that uh those dogs that you're buying make sure you're buying high quality brother walk them down ram is in the building a hey, ram uh first and foremost ram i'm about to send you this link if you want to jump in here bro uh, go ahead, man. Ram, all we doing right now, Ram, is we um we chopping up. I'm reading the ADBA standard, and uh, also I know you you uh you know Mr. Schoolboy a lot more a lot better than I do. So if you get in here, man, and you can shout uh shout out his his uh coalition registry, man, that'd be much appreciated. But Ram, I just sent you the link, bro. And if you can't, man, I know you're a hardworking brother, entrepreneur. Um, you know, uh, get get at me when you can, bro. But I appreciate you. All right. So the next thing they got on here is uh, the head size. The head size needs to be in proportion to the body with the neck long enough to have two thirds of the head appear above the top line. The back, the top line of the back when the head is at a normal upright position. So no, no, no slight to my bully guys out there, but that's something I know, I know a lot of y'all dogs do not have the physical ability to do, and that's a good delineating factor. Also, man, when y'all when y'all are introducing y'all dogs, introduce it, man. There's a brother who I don't really agree with everything he says, but he made a video. And before I tell y'all who said it, I'm gonna tell y'all what was said because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want y'all to lose the message in in the messenger. All right. So uh, the brother had a post. It was a, it was a, it was a short. Or maybe it was on TikTok, whatever it was. He had a post and it said, Stop mislabeling dogs. And then he had the abbreviation for American Pit Bull Terrier, Pit Bull. The abbreviation for American Staffordshire Terrier, Amstaff. The abbreviation for a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Staffy. The abbreviation for American Bully, Bully or Am Bully. And I was like, you know what? Uh, that was a. That was a great uh, way to break that down and kind of help people under understand it. And the brother was saying that stop putting all these dogs on an umbrella because it's easy to, to delineate between the two. 
if it was a golden retriever and a lab, they look very similar to me until somebody educated me about the fur length and the differences in the structure of the dog. But now when I see a golden retriever, I know that's a golden retriever. And when I see that's a lab, that's a lab. And for all my bully breeders out there, man, I like the biggest, the biggest advice or biggest uh, ask that I have of you is to start doing the same thing. You don't need the term pit bull to sell dogs. People that buy bullies buy bullies. And we need to l- delineate between the two. Uh, but I, now that I've given y'all the information, you and you all stay here and listen to it. I'm gonna tell y'all who said it. It was a uh, master of all bulldogs, and I don't agree with 90 percent of the things that he says, but I agree with that. You know, you know, he can't stand that I do protection work with these dogs, but I, I agree with that. Whole, I agree with that, and that's uh the truth is the truth, man. Uh, right is right, and wrong is wrong, man, and 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 that's that was right. That was absolutely right. Oh, Big A, man, let's back in the building, man. <laughs> Hey, my brother Big A been sitting in the green room, bro. Uh, but uh, welcome back, Big A. And if, if if I said anything, man, you or JT we need, need to chime in or uh, 601, y'all need to chime in, man. Go ahead and uh, chime in, bro. No, nah, I'm listening. Man. Oh, keep it moving. Keep it moving, man. Keep it moving. We're good. All right. So presentation, this is big. And this is where my show differs because I'm not going to lie to you. I don't typically like people facing off dogs on the internet. <clears throat> However, this is one of the few times where as long as you're not letting them actually make contact, because if you go to ADBA show, they, 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 they don't face them off intentionally, but the dog's going to face off. When you go in the ring, the dog's going to face off. That's a fact. All right. And so some level of, some level of the true nature of the breed has to be exalted. And this is one of those times where if I saw it, I would not ban it from my show, and I'm 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 making that statement right now up front. Uh, if they like 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 brother Toriano, uh, Toriano said, if they hot, they hot, man. I like that, man. If they hot, they hot. And this is where it says the presentation: dog is socialized, showing interest in things around him. And this is where I differ, and I'm not going to use the ADBA standard. If a dog is hot, a dog is hot, and I like a hot dog. Pause. But uh, <laughs> yeah, big pause on that one. But um. <laughs> Uh, although some degree of dog animal aggressiveness is characteristic of the breed, unruly behavior will detract from the judge's ability to accurately judge the individual's dog's confirmation. And this is exactly why I want the people to judge, because I want the people that follow me to realize these dogs are warriors. And if I see one slobbering and blacking out and going crazy, like for me, that's my vote. All right, because what I'm looking at, I'm looking to promote the dogs that I would breed to. And for all of y'all who are voting, vote for your friend, vote for your cousin, vote for whoever's dog you want to vote for. But I'm voting for the dogs that I would want to breed to. That's it. You can have the best condition confirmation dog. If it act occur at ADBA show, that's going to count against them hard. Hey, facts. The A's. Brother Solo, that's facts, bro. Um, the, 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 the attitude matters. In any breed, the attitude, the dog has that represent the attitude is indicative of the breed. And this breed is known to be an, literally to, to, to make breed style, or brood style quality stock. You have to have dogs typically that, that have been shown. And I'm not talking about my confirmation show. All right. Uh, I don't support or condone any illegal stuff, man, but it's a part of the breed history. It says it right here. I'm reading straight from a page. You know, go back to chapter one alpha and you can read the same thing I just read. It says it, that you have to know the history of these dogs to understand how these dogs are supposed to be bred. All right. So before any of the police get on here, or any of these uh, tree huggers get on here, just realize that I'm just reading from a site. Uh, let's talk about health. And uh, uh, any of my brothers on the panel, y'all got anything to chime in on that? No, sir. No, sir. I'm just taking it in. Hey, honey, no salt. I don't disagree with you at all, man. That's why you have to like what you like, man. Yeah, I saw. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. You have to. You have to. Uh, and then we Moon. Ooh, yeah, I know you let him go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Y'all brothers. Y- y'all brothers keep me entertained, man. Party boy said facts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yeah. man. Let's talk about the health real quick. And I'm not going to read the whole ADBA site, man, because it goes into a lot of things, man. I, I got a 
I want to get to the, the pictures of the things I'm talking about because I really just want to make sure that y'all are tracking uh, everything that I'm tracking as far as that goes. But I'm, I'm going to stop at health. If y'all want to read this, though, it's on the ADBA, ADBA.com forward slash heritage, American Pit Bull Terrier Confirmation Standard. All right. Uh, oh, Viking, what's good, big dog? Viking, Viking is in the chat, y'all. Shout out to Viking. He, he be in all the chats, man. Showing love, man. We appreciate you, big bro. Yes, sir. But it, it, I'm going to read this health and I'm going to keep it moving, y'all. And then I'm also going to post a link in the chat for y'all brothers to get in here, man. Uh, just, just make sure, like I said, man, No, we don't do no fugazi, man. Uh, I don't call, no, I don't call the dog man out. If you want to do that, man, stay in, hit me up in the back chat. We can talk offline, but I, I don't put other brothers' names out there, whether it be positive or whether it be negative. I don't put their name out there. I, I go direct to that man. I, I, I hit him with a phone call, you know, so if they need to pull up, we can pull up. But um, we keep that. We keep a straight gentleman over here, man. Uh, not not scared, but just gentlemanly, man, you know, uh, gen, uh, general principle. Yep. All right. Time and place for everything. Uh, health. The vitality of the dog's spirit, the gloss of the dog's coat, and the sharpness of the dog's eye will exude the healthfulness of the individual animal. And I want to, I want to, I want to stop right there and chime in on that. So, the I y'all brothers got to know that they are trying to pull all the refrigerated stuff off the shelves and track the supply in all these feed stores, man. Um, I live 90 minutes from the Mexican border. So I will have access to those things. And if you have access to them, man, uh, don't be an asshole, man. We're not, we're not going to price gouge people, man. But, um, if I'm making that trip down there, I'm about, I'm, I'm never going to go down there buy a bottle of penicillin. I would always buy at least a case of penicillin. Right. And, uh, these are things that uh, you can't really sell because they're they're making it where you have to be a veterinary veterinarian to sell these items, but it's not it's not illegal yet to procure them and have them in your possession. Uh, so um, if I had them in my, and I and, I, and you're in my area, man, um, you know, uh, I, I would charge you for the syringe. If that makes sense, I can't charge you for the medicine, but I would charge you for the syringe, or you know, however you want to do it. But um, or just a gentleman, a gentleman's, a gentleman's deal. But take care of each other, man, because they're trying to stop us from being able to care for our animals. They're trying to make sure that your animals have to be taken to a veterinarian so they can so they can basically do things to try to sterilize as much of the breed as possible by forcing you into the public. In that manner, they are they are going to be able to uh, say things and try to keep your dog overnight, you know, and do these different things and um i don't agree with it man i don't i don't agree with it at all so uh write your congressman and you know and we let's try to get this try to get this resolved man let's try to get this resolved because that, that's some fuck shit uh but anyways uh, <laughs> off my off my little tangent man um so let me let me answer that question real quick shinobi so shinobi said my dogs are rowdy any tips on how to make them submit easily absolutely not if your dogs is rowdy man let them dogs be those dogs and use that rowdiness whatever always use your dog and activities that benefit their personality type man um that's the one thing i can say if your dogs is rowdy man then let them let them use that rowdiness man i think the walk line works good for rowdy dogs because they get this they get to release that that pent up energy and spring up that wall man but i wouldn't try to change the nature of the dogs if you want to change the nature i would say change it through breeding not through trying to like force them into submission and i'm not i know you're not gonna hurt your dogs but uh you can kill you can kill what what you can keep that dog you can kill that dog's drive or you can you can take away things that you didn't want to take away by 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 capping it i would say that uh if you want to have a more controlled dog it starts at a puppy and you kind of yep. just train it for, for what you like but if that dog is if that dog is already lit man let that dog be lit and just breed it to yep. a more docile dog man be honest with you like let, let, let that dog I'll be a dog, bro. Yeah. Um, but brother Shinobi, if you want to train, man, uh, I do I do videos on training. There's a lot of videos on training, man. But it's all training is not designed for the American Pit Bull Terrier. Um, and I'll say that even with even with a person that like I love training, I love bite work, all kind of stuff, man. But all training is not designed for our dogs, man. You got some that can do it and some that can't, and, that, and that's the way it is. And that's why, that's why I'm breeding toward it. Like I said, I'm trying to breed 
my line for that kind of work. But these dogs are meant to be uh, hot. And and, ju- and don't force it. Whatever you do, don't force it. Yeah. Hey, Almighty One, welcome to the chat. And uh, Honey No Salt, I want to answer your question, man. That's a good question. So uh, Honey No Salt. Um, there is a record. I want to study guys on in Mexico. Uh, it's a video on YouTube. It's a female dog. She's a buckskin dog. And I think she goes, man, like 23 feet in the, in the air on, on, a, on that wall, man. Like there's people on the second floor and she's going past them on this wall climb. And it, it is, it is ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, if you, if you go on YouTube and you just look up, um, look up highest wall climb, she's on there, man. And, uh, it, it is nasty, but that dog, she's, she's a real rangy long legged dog, man. And then uh, Eagle fan said, uh, training is harder than it looks. It, it most certainly is, man. Um, so uh, with that being said, I got a I got a chart that I put up in my in my in my brothers in our chat, and uh, oh my wife my wife was trying to give me tickets to Cleborn for the uh, for the dogs for nationals. So I, I had to mess her back real quick. She's looking at my, my plane tickets now, y'all. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, so in the chart, I'm going to read y'all some parts of the dogs, man. And this is what I want y'all to do. Uh, I need I need there be, to be a little bit of humility here and not to embarrass anybody, but I need, you to, I need you to tell me if I need to stop. All right. So the parts that I'm tracking are we're going to start from the nose and go all the way down to the tail. Uh, starting with the nose, it's the nose. It can be multiple colors. And I, I'm just looking at a chart of a dog, the anatomy of a dog, y'all. Uh, you have the whiskers, the flu, which is the top lip, the, the portion that hangs down over your can- your top canines. Uh, and then you have your top canines, your hangers, and your bottom canines, your cutters. You have the throat and the ear. Uh, you have the eyebrow. You have the nose stop, which is the area between the, tip of the nose and and where the eyes are inset to the skull. You have the forehead. You have the occiput. And then you have the nape of the neck, which is where uh, training collars are typically set at. And that's going to be the oh. head of the dog. Go ahead, Big A. Hey, uh, when you finish, I, I like to interject and uh, add some technical uh, terms applied. By, oh, go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Just, no, I'm done with the head. I'm done with the head. head. Okay. Well, I like I'm a I'm a run through this in alphabetical order. Uh, you got yes, apple headed, apple headed, a skull round instead of flat on top. You got your bat ears, large erect ears and rounded tops. You got your blades, a white mark on the face, uh, the brisket, uh, the part of the body between the chest and the neck. Front part of chest. Hey, Big A, can Better I try to Yeah, go ahead. Hey, so these terms that he's looking up, I'm just Googling them as he goes, and I'm going to give you – so apple-headed I, – I slow it down. I slow it down. Yeah, yeah, apple-headed down. is – is uh, if you don't know what apple-headed is, look at a chihuahua. Uh, the chihuahua is an apple-headed dog, y'all. And literally, if you Google apple-headed, that's what's going to come up. All right. So when you're when you're talking about it, there are pit bulls that have that look like a giant chihuahua. And that's all that is, man. And it's just this just we all on the same page, man. Uh, and then some of the other stuff was very self-explanatory. But we're going to go through. And we're going to really break down these terms. When you're looking at the dogs, you're looking at the dogs, man. OK, uh, let me see. Uh, I, I stopped with the butterfly nose, the spider yeah. nose. And you, you were just talking about spider nose. All right. Yeah. Um, button ear. An ear which falls over the front, concealing the inside. Burr, the inside of the ears. Breaching, the tan colored hairs on the back of the thighs of the black and tan dog. Beefy, a big beefy hind quarter. Cat foot, a short round foot with knuckles high and well developed like cats. Short, round, and compact. You, uh, you you you've had any dogs like that? Yeah, man. And honestly, I would say the hardest thing to, to differentiate between is cat foot and correct foot, correct tight feet. Uh, and okay. on the screen right here is that what I actually have is regular, like what's considered a regular foot, and then uh, mm-hmm. easty west, easty westy feet. So um, okay, yeah, okay, got you. Chest. The chest of a dog must not be confused with the brisket. 
The breast or chest extends between the forelegs from the brisket to the belly. Cheeky. When the cheek bumps are strongly defined, thick and cheek. Cobby. Well ribbed up, short and compact. I haven't heard that in a, in a, in a while. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Claudia or Cobby. Thick set, short coupled, and low in stature. Couplings. The length or space between the tops of the shoulder blades and top and tops of hips of, of hip joints, excuse me, or knuckle bones. A dog is accordingly spoken of as long or short in the couplings. Cow hawk. The hawks turning inward. Hawks that turn in like those of a cow. Let me stop you real quick. All right, y'all. So yes, sir. the hawks are going to be in the back legs. And typically what you would consider, I guess, like like Bobby Boucher mama said, if I, if I said I was eating any part of the steak, it would be his knee. All right. So, <laughs> so at, 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 at that bend from, from, the upper, from the upper leg to the lower leg, uh, that's that's gonna be the hawks, and when, when that's when it's cow hawk, they're gonna point toward each other. All right, um, and then also the pasterns are gonna be on the front legs, and uh, that's where you see the easty westy, the rickets, and the uh, the splaying feet on the on the front legs. Uh, this will be your uh, your pasterns up front. All right, uh, go ahead, go ahead, big A. Okay, cushion, spell C U S H I O N, fullness in the top lips. Character. Hold on, just think of the notes. Hold on, big A. Hold on just a second. All right. So yeah. for those of y'all who are box man, man, these terms are important. And even if you're not a box man, but just historically speaking, if your dog has a lot of cushion, man, the chance of them getting fanged is higher. And for those of y'all who don't know what fanged is, that is when a dog's canine protrudes through his own lip. Now, during a match, if that happened, uh, this historically speaking, during a match if that happened, old school rules, uh, typically the ref would have a defanger, or and some rules even written that it says it has to be a pencil. That ref will take that pencil and take that extra meat off the lip, off of the dog's, off the dog's canine. Because what that does is, if a dog is biting his own lip, he's inflicting pain to himself, which could cause the dog not to bite as hard in the contest. All right, so that's why these terms are important. I want to share them with you not only to un understand what they are now, but historically why these terms were needed in in the American Pitbull Terrier uh, arena. And breathing purposes. Yes, yeah, yes, sir. <clears throat> Character. The combination of points co contributing to the makeup and giving to the dog that which is desired in his particular variety. Corkies. Compact and active looking. Springy and lively in action. Dew claws. The extra claws found occasionally on the legs of all breeds. Uh, the claw inside the hind, the hind legs just above the foot. Dudley nose, a flesh colored nose, a uh, domed skull, a round skull, deep in brisket, deep in chest, drop from the drop, I mean, deep in ch chest, deep from the withers to the point where the chest and the brisket meet. Elbow, the joint at the top of the forearm. Expression, the expression of a dog is largely but not wholly determined by the size, angular position, and degree of prominence of the eye. Flues, the chop, the chops or overhanging lips of the of the upper jaw. Forearm, this makes the principal length of the foreleg and extends from the elbow to the pastern. Frog face or down face, nose not receding. Flat sided, flattened ribs opposite of well ribbed. Grizzle, the blush gray color. Hair foot, foot like the hair, long, foot like a hair long and narrow. Okay, let me tag, tag me in real yeah. quick. Oh, so with the with the hair foot, that's going to be on the front legs. And one of the quickest ways to see that is when you're feeding your dog, uh, just like how it should not be cat toe, but the, the, the paw should be tight. 
Um, that dog on the in the picture I have put up has Easty West, but he also has hair foot. His front paws are actually like almost like leaning back. His leg almost has a bend in it from the paw to where it connects to, to the wrist joint. Whereas the dog with the regular feet, his legs are straight up and down, almost like tree trunks, coming down to a tight fist. All right. So that dog is Easty Westy and he's hair footed for the dog on the left. Yeah, and as I'm reading this, this is how they would uh, actually size up dogs and, and you know, and, and describe dogs. Because a lot yeah. of times when they would describe dogs back in, like, the, the you know, 19, early, early, early 1900s or whatnot, it was all written down. You know, they would write, you know, how we watch, how we would watch a boxing fight or whatnot, and we have commentators. The commentators would describe dogs, and you would have a full list of what that dog was, you know, and that's how they would describe dogs, and you know, or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, moving forward. Uh, hawks, the lower jo joint of high, of, of the high leg. Height. The height of a dog is measured at the shoulder, bending the head gently down. The proper method is to place the dog on level ground, close by, by a wall. Lay a flat rule across the shoulders, such as to touch the well, the touch as to touch the wall. Excuse me. Then measure to the point touched by the rule. Hey, stand by, stand by, at Big A. Hey, Wing yeah. Moon, Wing Moon got another uh, a great test, man. And this is this yeah. is important because, man, Wing, thank you for sharing this. You didn't have to, but this is important. So, uh, for those of y'all who are getting dogs, man, I don't think there's any. Anybody in the game who doesn't want their dogs to be looked at in a positive manner, uh, not just for performance, but for perform as well, right? Because like, the, the, if y'all look at that link, brother solo drop, performance, uh, everything matters. And so, brother Wayne says this, and this is a good way to check your dog for some of these flaws: take out one feeding and feed him or her on the stairs, the bowl on the top step. And then take pictures and examine. Now, I've also heard that if you, if you have a dog that's starting to get cow hawked or starting to get hair footed, if you feed them in an elevated food bowl, it can help offset that. However, if you if you're doing that to correct your puppies, that's something you wouldn't want to let your people who are buying puppies from you know because it, it, that that's a genetic thing, right? So to breathe it out, maybe, maybe your dog performs well, but it's not the most uh, confirmationally sound. You want to find somebody who has well-performing dogs that are more confirmationally sound. You're not just breeding to a dog because it looks like it's more aggressive than your dogs. You want to take it to a dog that's going to improve the overall health of your dog because a dog that performs well and is built appropriately is going to be more able, more easily able to perform the task at hand. I look at it like a person that has one arm that's like, like for lack of a better term, a chicken wing arm and a regular arm. They can still bench press, but they can't bench press as much as they could if they had two naturally like proportionate arms to do that work. Same thing with the dogs yeah. performing these tasks. Yeah. Here, take my strong arm. <laughs> yeah. Also, man, shout out to the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Hawk, yeah, man. The big A, go ahead and press, bro. I I, I just wanted – some things I – something sometimes I just got to interject, bro, because I think it has – Please. Like, Please. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, brother Mike Dan, hold on. Brother Mike Dan says, web feet, is that ge that is genetic, right? Uh, I'm not tracking web feet on them. I'm tracking web feet on a lot of water dogs, like labs and things. I don't want to, I don't want to steer you wrong, Brother Mike Dan. I'd have to look into that. Uh, or if, if an OG in the chat knows that right off, but I'm tracking web feet is typically for dogs with uh, the same dogs that have that, that, that oil in their fur that helps the water roll off for water dogs. Oh, Dre, what's, what's your, uh, what in your in your opinion or what do you like when you when you're looking at feet so i like i look at feet if i'm looking at a dog i look at it a dog that okay i'm gonna give you functionality so when a human being bench presses appropriately the wrist and the wrist and the forearm are in a straight line so when i look mm -hmm. at a dog for the most power i'm looking at a dog whose paw is tight knuckle and in a straight line with the with the lower arm. I also don't want it bowed at the elbows because that's also considered a flaw. I want nice straight legs, not barrel chested and not, not inset. They need to be basically an H frame in the front. 
All right. So that's what I'm looking. That's like my ideal, like functionality of an American pit bull terrier. However, if that dog had a club foot and could bite through steel, I'm still gonna like that dog. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> hey, so uh, do you notice a difference in the feet? The tighter they're bred. So uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, typically in performance animals, I see a little bit of splain feet. Uh, mm -hmm. However, with, I typically notice like the show lines, the way they call purple ribbon lines. A lot of them purple mm -hmm. ribbon lines, um, they look they look conventional sound, but they occur out in five minutes with anything we got. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, okay. afraid, they would occur out, given hypothetically speaking, they would occur out re relatively fast. All right, but okay, uh, nah, man. Like, I see a lot of dogs that they look so good. I'm like, there's no way that dog can perform. And yeah. some of them, but you'll never know because the dog that looks that good ain't gonna be in the box. So, right, uh, that, that's my take on it, bro. Okay, moving forward, uh, huckle bones, top of hip joints, knee, the joints attaching the four patterns and the forearm, a kink tail, a tail with a single break or a kink in it, leather. The ears, i.e., the loose, visible part of them. Lay back, receding nose. Lines or loins, the part of the anatomy of the dog between the last rib and the hind quarters. Long in flank, long in the back and loins. Lumber, uh, Super superficial flesh. Uh, overshot. The upper teeth projecting over the lower. The fault in access makes the dog pig jawed. The top jaw protruding beyond the lower jaw. Out at shoulder. Shoulder set on the outside. Out at elbows. Elbows turning out. Hey, okay, okay, let me, okay, let me interject, yeah. interject real quick. Uh, yeah. So, I wanted to go ahead and give a uh, bottom boy and Mike Dan a big shout out, man. Welcome to the chat, y'all. And Dickie, if you didn't hear me before, man, welcome to the chat, Dickie. I appreciate you every time you come through, bro. Yes, so, look, man, be shy. Be shy. All um, right, Dickie, back on you. Yes, sir. Pig jawed. The upper jaw protruding over the lower jaw so that the upper is. It and scissor teeth are advanced of the lower, an exaggeration of the of an overshot jaw. Pick ear, an erect ear not turned down or folded. Pad, the under portion or sole of the foot. Rose ear, an ear of which the tip turns backward and downward so as to disclose the inside of the ear. Racy, slight in build and leggy. Septum, the division between the nostrils. Shoulders, top of the shoulder blades, the point at which the height of the, the dog is measured. Splay foot, a flat, awkward, usually turned out, turned outward and opposite of the cat foot. Stern, the tail. Stifle joints, stifles. The joints of hind legs next next above the hocks. Stop. You remember what a stop is, Dre? Yeah, man. So uh, that's the area between the uh, nose and the bridge of the eyebrow. But hold on just a second, bro. Hey, um, yeah. I wanted to talk about the, uh, the stifle. So another reason why, okay. we, why we're mentioning this stuff, man, is like uh, you hear people say, man, I got a stifle dog. I got a chest dog or a head dog. For those y'all, like this is not just on anybody's intelligence, but I'm not going to assume that everybody in the chat just knows these things. There was a time where you didn't know them. And so that's why we're trying to bring everybody up to, up to snuff so we can all, when we communicate, we know exactly what we're talking about. So the stifle like you said, it's the area above the hocks. So the hocks can be the lower portion of the back leg. The stifles can be the upper portion. And when you have a stifle dog that goes there, man, it's going to immobilize this opponent. And if they break that down early, early on in the match, the other dog is going to find it really hard to scratch on the, on the on, on only its front legs. All right. So um, 
That's why I, I really want y'all to understand this, man. This is historically speaking only, but you have to understand when they talk about that, or if you're reading these journals, when they talk about this dog scratched into this and he stayed there for 15 minutes and hold, these are things that are important to understand so you already know exactly what, what in your mind you can play out that match in your mind, all right, with the commentary. Yes, yeah, stop. The step or indentation between the forehead and the nose. Snippy, two pointed in muscle. Semi crick ear, an erect ear which the end falls over forward. Sickle tail, a tail forming a semicircle like a sickle. Short couple. Yeah, oh, Dre, you don't like sickle tails, huh? I knew you were calling me out. I personally don't. Um, <laughs> hey, y'all in the chat, the chat, I the dogs, man. I'm not. That's not saying they're any more or less game than any other dogs. I just don't like it. I like the old school pump handle tail that uh, that you know that dog is is all the way excited in, in a match because that tail only comes all the way up above that roach back when it's when it's when it's active. All right. Uh, the sickle tail to me is is a flaw. Man. It is a flaw. But that's my personal opinion, and that's exactly why I let the crowd pick the to pick the winners because what I like and what what people like may not be the same thing, man. I'm I'm not perfect in human. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, short coupled, short in the back and loins. Shelly, too narrow and light in the body. Style, showy, spirited, or gay demeanor. Second thigh. The leg bone between the stifle joint and the hock. Tulip ear, an upright or prick ear. Throatiness, overmuch loose skin or flesh or flesh under the throat. Tricolor, black, tan, and white. Timber, uh, timber is the bone. Upright shoulders, shoulders that are not set in an upright instead of an oblique position, not laid back. Vent, the tan colored hair below the root or tail of uh, the root of tail, excuse me. Wall eye, a blue motted eye. Wrinkle, loose folding skin under the skull, over the skull, excuse me. Wheaton, pale yellowish, yellowish color, and the last one is withers, which is is considered the shoulders. Absolutely, man. And so for a lot of y'all, man, the withers is important because when you measure for a harness, don't ask you things like that. Um, for my other brothers, man, JT six hundred one. Uh, if y'all brothers got anything to chime in or Big A, y'all go ahead and cook for a little bit. But I'm gonna put the link in the chat because we hit that two hour mark, and that's typically my goal is around two hours of our, of our lives. However, man, y'all brothers been in the chat been super active, and if any of y'all would like to add any any uh, what's one value to the chat, man, by sharing your own perspective or own opinion, man, I will not knock you for that in the least, man. Uh, I want to get an opportunity there. Go ahead, bro. Oh, go ahead. Oh no! I gotta take a picture of this, man. I I would I love to share this with the chat. It's an old school conditioning chart, you know. Let, let me zoom in on you real quick. Let me zoom in on you real quick so everybody can see that. And uh, yeah, I gotta take a picture of it so I, I can give it some justice. But you know, old school conditioning chart, you know. Yeah, man. Hey, y'all. The link to the link to our the link to our. Uh, to our panelists in the chat. For those y'all that are in the for those y'all that are in the chat, man, if anybody wants to get on here and get their opinions, their thoughts, man, uh, we open to hear it. Uh please don't we, we don't do any any hate speech or offensive talk. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I like I trust I trust y'all not to put that link in there. So I'm trusting y'all can come here and do the right thing, man. And, and that's what it is, bro. Anything food gazy, you know, we, we we boot them out of here like uh like a bouncer. But um yeah man, y'all welcome to come in here. But if not, y'all don't if nobody's here in the next five, ten minutes, man, we can go ahead and do our, our, our closure thing. We're we'll gonna shut this thing down tonight, man. Because I think I feel like we had a good cook up and uh, I appreciate all y'all who came through. Uh Mayhem, welcome to the chat, big bro. For real, for real. Mayhem, salute. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh 
but yeah, man. And then, um, brother, brother solo, man, you gave me a lot to think about, man. I, I'm really in my feelings about missing that dang on bite thing, bro. But I'll fix it in the future, bro. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, we're gonna keep on scratching into it and make this thing better in the future, bro. So, so thank you for for opening my eyes up to something I overlooked. Uh, and in mayhem, salute, big bro. Hey, dog, it has been a minute, bro. Please make sure you go back and watch the, the replay. And I hope you got something to put in this digital dog show, man. A lot of good information happened in that first and second hour. And um, we want to make sure y'all all y'all have the opportunity to go out there and represent the breed with the best people and the best dogs. Um, yeah, man, it's been a good night, man. We we added a new samurai to the to the foot soldier army, man. The shogun, the shogun yeah. army is strong. And what's today? What's today, y'all? Today is the the ninth. Eight. Yes, yeah, sir. The ninth. Oh, so so by next Wednesday. By, by, by this time next week, the actual dog show will be open for y'all to start actually dropping y'all stuff and getting feedback on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. shut it. Hey, for those of y'all who are still here, though, I got to spend a special shout out and a happy birthday to the to the, to the face of Samurai Kennels. And it's not Damn, me. Damn, man. Uh, old Damn, socket. Old socket, man. I started yeah. saying that earlier, bro. The big two, man. That boy, two, man. Yeah, man. Big shout out to Saki, man. Oh, yeah. Sure. Did you uh did you find that uh that bone? Yeah, I did, man. It, I got a, I got an elk bone. He over there knocked out right now, man. I need I need working today, bro. I took him for his walk this morning. Uh, by the way, y'all. Um, dang, big big A man. Two things I forgot to talk about, y'all. Those of y'all who are still here, uh, I appreciate y'all. But man, me and my brother about to cook. Whether well, we, we about to cook for a little bit because I it's some stuff I just want to talk about, man. Um, yeah, <laughs> but uh, so this morning I took Saki for his walk, man. So we're trying to get uh, a Apple group and an Android group. That uh, I don't need you sharing all your business. I'm not trying to inc incriminate nobody. But when I go on my morning walk, uh, I must try to. I, I don't know how to do it exactly right now, but I'm gonna share y'all a link to my Apple Watch where you can see how many miles I walk each morning. And uh, I share my my personal workout, which is a gym workout. I share my. Hey, thank you, Alexander. Uh, I share my personal workout, which is my, 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 my gym workout. I share my walk with Saki. And it, once my bike arrives Saturday, because I don't have my furniture yet, my, my furniture gets here Saturday. Well, once my once my bike arrives, then I'll share with y'all. Like my Apple Watch, I track all that with my Apple Watch. That way, not just for y'all to keep me accountable, but I know how hard I work Saki in each heat that I put him through. And uh, you can call me. I'll be like, Dre, bro, it's been three days. You ain't been on a walk yet, man. Because, I, you know, I'll be, I be slipping, man. You know, life, life, life gets you. You think... You think, man, I, I'm gonna skip today, man. But with, with your brothers watching you, it holds you accountable, man. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of being a samurai, man. Um, and then yeah. the other thing, uh, I'm gonna shut up. I got diarrhea in my mouth, but I'm gonna shut up after this. Big A was uh, was talking about a ticket, man. I caught a three hundred three dollar ticket coming out of Texas, y'all. I hate Texas, man. <laughs> Hey, that was your farewell prison, bro. <laughs> 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 That was a farewell prison, man. Hey, man. man. I, called a, I called a lady on the phone the other day to pay my ticket, man. And that lady, you know, I started talking shit about that. I said, look, man, she said, she said uh, Mr. Williams, she said, um, sir, uh, my job is to collect the money. I don't have nothing to do with the law enforcement here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a telemarketer. And so then I said, you're right. And that's why they say don't mix with Texas. And that lady fell out her chair laughing about that thing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, oh, man. Jesus, man. Man, sitting there looking at these uh these old uh um what do you call it uh articles where they uh selling selling dogs in the paper from like the nineteen like nineteen hundred like nineteen oh five or whatnot. And we got like one. I'm looking at one right now. It says American Pit Bull Terriers, the famous John P. Colby strain since uh. Since 1889, known from coast to coast, border to border, for sale. Dogs and pups that are direct descendants of the gamest dogs ever bred by John B. P. Colby. At stud be $15. Sacramento right. Jack, Colby's Gully, Colby's Executor, Colby's Red Patty, UKC Registered. Several weights, several weights open to match. Agents for Colby's uh a uh, noiseless treadmill. Um, 
prompt attention given to all inquiries. Joseph Joseph L. Kobe, P.O. Box 1253, Sacramento, California. Dang, boy. That boy said $15 stud fee. $15 stud fee, <laughs> baby. Hey. Uh, based on that time frame, that was about they feel about a hundred, about a buck fee. That's not that much though. You know what I'm saying? That, that was a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got so many of those old stuff, man. It's crazy. Mayhem, I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna pull up that uh Mayhem, I'm gonna pull that up, man, so everybody can see that if you don't mind, bro. Mayhem, if, if you cool me doing it, man, put a thumbs up in the chat. I see you put it in there, but I don't know if you want me to put it on the screen for the people who are not in the chat to see it. So uh I, I always let me give y'all brothers, I always let me give y'all brothers that respect, man. I never put your business out there without your permission, bro. Never. And and, and I don't call up on your business, I call it giving you giving you your accolades that you deserve, bro. You know, um yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> hey, party boy said out of all, out of all 50, 50 dogs. <laughs> Hey, yeah, real talk. What's up? <laughs> Mayhem say fifteen dollars. Damn, and then Solo say fifteen dollars was a hell of a lot. Yeah, then it was. Yeah. It would have been, man. It would have been a lot, man. Uh, Mayhem, I'm not gonna post that unless you tell me I could, I'm good to post it, man. But I did want to share it. You know what I'm saying on the screen, man, and, and, and show that that work you put in, bro. Uh, I appreciate you, big dog. I really do. And um, I, I, I you. Brought my attention to something in one of those chats I was in on Facebook, man. I left the chat shortly thereafter because you addressed some some fuckery that was going on in that chat, man. But um, I couldn't stand by, man, because I saw some good brothers getting talked bad about in there, and I wasn't gonna give I wasn't gonna give them the pleasure of, of me viewing that stuff no more, man. So thank you for uh, handling that, uh, man. I appreciate that, bro. Um, hey, you mind if I read another one, man? These 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 dogs, man, was like. They they had a little spice to them, man. Absolutely. <laughs> you read you read out, yeah. out a sport dog journal. No, I'm reading out a uh uh one of John John L. Kobe's books. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's uh it's got a whole bunch of them. It says American John, John L. John P. Huh? No, this one the John L. I mean jo Joseph L. Uh Kobe. This is true. Yeah. L. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, about yeah, my yeah. I'm like, hold on. My bad. Now, I might have said it wrong. Ain't no telling, but yeah, I wouldn't pay it. Yeah. But uh, American Pit Bull Terrier, extraordinary. Mitchell's Firecracker, UKC number 225075. Out of the South comes another uh, Crimson Tide, this time to invade the East. It <laughs> It is the name. Uh, it is. It is a name none other than that Burning Hell Firecracker. This is a dog that stopped the great pit artist uh, Slim Slim Grant's uh, plunger in, in one hour and fifteen minutes without pickup. Mitchell's proof spike. This dog is illustrated uh, elsewhere in the book along with his record. I believe, and a lot of other dog men believe, that he is the greatest and gamest dog that ever crossed any pit. He is still active, full of prep, and can lick a lot of lick a lot of the so-called uh, uh, aces today. He has proven beyond a doubt that he is the game that he is a game dog and can take a whipping. I have retired. I have retired this grand old dog that stood, and his teeth are getting bad. I'm not a dog peddler, nor do I have a lot of pups for sale. But I do have times, but I do at times have a few selected pups at the right price. My brood bitch uh, are just as good as my pit my pit dogs. I have female sire by proof by proof spike and one bred by John P. Colby's brandy, which is the closest thing to to Harvey Jennings' old Irish John. Who imported? Who was imported from Ireland to Ireland to this country to fight? When you're on the market for a do or die pup, for a real stud service, right now, George W. Mitchell, six six two Grisham Place, uh, Northwest Washington D.C. Um, hey, can, can I interject real quick? Big, you read the word. This. If you read a word, I, I wouldn't. I don't know if it was Martinez or who's live or winning the other night, but it set me off. Man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Brothers, in the chat, 
There's 23 of y'all right now. Uh huh. If you're watching this on the back story, I need you to I need you to comment on this. I need I need at least about five, ten different opinions on this. So the term he used was better than most aces. Now, this is my issue with the term oh, aces. Yeah. Yeah. This is my issue with the term ace, y'all. All right. So coming from two different worlds, I'm I'm Air Force military and I and I and I deal with these game dogs. The term ace is different than 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 uh, for me than what it means for other people, and I'll tell you why. I'm gonna give you my military side of it first, y'all. And and the military ace means you have five confirmed aerial kills. All right, that doesn't just mean that you have five wins or you, or you nobody you ran over anybody you went to. You killed them. All right, and it's confirmed on record when they, when they read your medal, you killed five uh, Nazi, you killed five whoever Japanese. You went mano y mano and killed your opponent by at least five times. At least. So when I hear that in dogs, I go, all right, well, champion, one-time winner, two-time winner, grand champion. These are designators. So when I think when I think of an ace, I'm thinking the same thing as what I think of the military. This dog not only won, but eliminated the opponent, yeah. which means this dog has finished. So I, I, when you tell me a dog is an ace and that dog is a two-time winner, I'm looking at you like you're great. And Mr. Big say his dog, Mr. Big, don't troll me, man. Mr. Big say his dog like red ace. That's different, Mr. Big. I'm saying, like, when you give when you give us a dog, like we say that dog, there's a bulldog. When I hear that a dog is a bulldog, I mean that, that, to me that means that dog was proven by by a dog man, by a respectable dog man, man. And that's 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 what I believe, bro. Um and then uh a <laughs> elevator said, hell, when I consider age, you might consider a curve. <laughs> Hey, that's why I asked y'all that question, man. Because maybe um, that's why I'm asking, man. Uh, that's why I'm asking y'all because I, I don't know, man. I well, but when I hear that term, to me, it means that that dog is 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 not just winning, but it, it is it is finishing. You know what I mean? It, it is making it is making its opponents dead game animals. And that's the, and see so low. That's why I asked that question because maybe I've been judging too harshly. And honestly, I would, based on how I understood the ace to be, if I tell you a dog is an ace, then that means that, that like, okay, so there's a dog named Ritz. And y'all heard me talk about Ritz a lot. Ritz killed all his opponents. All right, so that that dog to me is, is an ace. Uh, but then Solo gave some examples, and I want to share those names because uh, based upon what Solo said, man, I think there's, I think what Solo's opinion is is what most people would consider an ace. And I'm gonna say the names: Pandy, Ace, Queen of Hearts, Ace. I, solo. I, I think. I think most people. I think you. I think you had the most. The most correct uh, ideology of what an Ace is. Um, Champion. But that, yeah. Hey, uh, comments, Smith. Welcome to the chat, big bro. Uh, but yeah, man. I, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, age five to ten minutes over with. All right, so you say it like so. Like, so solo. Like, that's what I was kind of understanding. Like they just run through their opponents very, very, very quickly. Um, so th thank you for that correction, bro. Because I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to belittle a dog that deserves the title of ace because I don't understand or don't know. And Mayhem say that dog on the screen, 11 months to 38, uh, about 38 to 40 pounds. His dad is a, is a 50 pound plus straight monster. I don't, I don't disagree, man. That dog just looked like a, just looked like a working dog, man. You know what I'm saying? And can you I, can't, can't, you can't go up looks. But go ahead, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I wanted to uh, say something about uh, the ace um, uh, via uh, Richard F. Stratton. How, however, there are dogs usually. Uh, of of unusual ability, they completely outclass other dogs and will have them down and helpless so quick quickly that the contest never reaches a slowdown phase in which both dogs are heated up, weak, and able to inflict little or no damage. Yeah. These dogs are huge are of unusual ability, are called aces by dog men. Will have a, or will have an ordinary dog down and helpless in no time. Y'all men have mixed feelings about these aces. While the skill of these dogs are admirable, 
Their deep gameness is always suspect because they rarely meet a dog that is their equal. And thus, whether or not their game, their, their game is not determinable. Experienced dogmen have come to, to, to venerate gameness above all else. For one thing, in ordinary contests, it is the game dog who wins. Additionally, pit, pit dogmen develop a special feeling for, for the pit bull and the gameness is the single most important characteristic of the breed. There's nothing more thrilling for the seasoned pit bull man than to have a game dog go against a barnstormer, whether the storm and the force, the match into, which, in, into the slowdown period where the gameness is essential and then win on games. Hey Amen. So elevated news there. We talked about this, man. I told you, I've never seen a, a barnstormer or, or an ace that was a, like ever tested before. Because they always dominate. You know what I mean? And you yeah. don't know, you don't know what a dominated person is gonna do when they get on the ropes because they're they're used to being on the top dog. You know, yeah. like game, game is an underdog are, are hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um uh, I forgot that I forgot the name of the bot that, that trainer man. I forgot the name of the boxer trainer. I got I got a brain for it, man. But uh, he said you never you 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 never see a champion until they get knocked down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said because it because it, 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 it he was saying it's like if you if you run through everybody like I, I don't want to get into the boxing thing but his whole thing was he liked Mike Tyson but he didn't respect him because he said Mike Tyson never fought anybody you know what I'm saying and when he got when he went up against somebody if you were to put Mike if you were to call Mike Tyson an ace who really who really stood in front of him he you know who could actually fight he 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 would run out of wins. You know, via Buster Douglas. Yeah, hey, I knew he was gonna read that yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I'm, gonna let my brothers, I'm gonna let my other brother weigh in on that too, man. Because uh, I'm pulling this up, uh, this pedigree that uh, Brother Solo sent me. Brother Solo, before I posted mm -hmm. it, Brother Solo, give me a thumbs up if it's cool for me to post this, man. Because uh, I, I don't know if y'all know this or not, man, but. The, the live chat, a lot of people don't know how to go back and look at the live chat. So typically this the live chat is a little bit more intimate, a little bit more like uh bulldog centric. And then the aftermath is 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 the uh you know that's when you that's when you get your Karen's that's when you get your Karen's in there, you know what I'm saying? So, right. Put a curl up at the chat. Yo. Right now, because I can hear the truck, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah bro, uh, we got you in here, man. We, we, we got you in here, man, and you can unmute yourself whenever you need to to, to communicate, bro. Uh, I'm back in, yeah, already. Yeah, okay, so solo, you said it's not your dog, all right? Oh, yeah, you good, fam. You good, man. It's all love, bro. <clears throat> What's up, Mike Chief? Man, goddamn, we glad to have you come through, man. Yes, sir. We glad oh, to have everybody, bro, in the chat who came through, man. Yes, it was sir. good, goddamn, it, communicating with y'all and <clears throat> things of that nature, there, bro. But I'm finna get ready to get on down because I got to get up early in the morning, man. I got a task I need to complete tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, but sir. Y'all just stay up, stay blessed, man. Enjoy the night, bro. You know, everything, everything, man. Cuz I love you, man. You know, uh, yeah, hey, I love y'all too, man. Love you too, cuz. You, you know, know everything, you know, everything 100, man. It's hey, 601, I ride, man. Hey, complete that, complete that courtesy scratch into the rest of the week, 601, bro. We appreciate you, big dog. Yes, sir. All right, ready, man. So, I appreciate you, good, dog. I appreciate y'all all. <laughs> I appreciate all my brothers too, man. Real talk, man. Kind of know what yes, thing, man. I I'm straight, you hear me? Yes, sir. Man, I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing to worry about. God damn it! If I worry, it's just cause that's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't got no bit yeah. to worry. You know, so I got too many brothers. You feel? Hey, yeah. Real, <clears throat> real. 
All good, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, you know, hey, listen, I ain't got no dog, man, but I got a, I got me a little cat on the line, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just speaking my head, though, baby, just a holler and say what's up. But when my little cat call come back, I'm going to be, meow, I'm good. <laughs> hey, for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meow. Yeah. You got to be my little dog catching this cat. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, All right, man. man. Yes, sir. Shout out to everybody. Once again, yeah. shout out to uh, Mike, Mr. Mike, Mr. Mo, you know, Ram, Mr. Schoolboy, Mr. J Bo, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Foster, yes, Mr. Weed, C Funk Four Tree, uh uh Solo But Connected, everybody, man. JT, you know, uh yeah, Soul, man. Big A, uh, Dre, the world, you know what I'm saying? Sister William, Mama William, everybody. <laughs> I'm gone, man. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, hey, we we holler at you the All love. Hey, hold on, 601, before you go, if you're still here, if you can hear the sound of my voice. Yes, sir. Uh, he gone. But we want to know, we want to see the puppies, man, because you had the puppies dropped off two weeks ago in the live, man. Yeah. Curious. I'm curious. Huh, he's my I mean, yeah. I always <laughs> ask him. Oh, yeah, he, he got to get back on her, man. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I get it back. Bro. I get it back. Hey, yo, man. See, I miss, I missed you. You hear me? So, hey, man. Hey, JT, that boy sticks on one went live, picking up two puppies, and ain't tell us nothing about it, man. Hey, yo, man. <laughs> nothing, man. Hey, yo, man. God damn. You know what they trying to see, bro. In the mm, meantime, man. I got two things to read y'all, man. So, Brother White right. Chocolate said, Ace is a fast killer that typically refers to a highly skilled or exceptional individual dog of that breed. Also, often used colloquial, colloquial, well, colloquial. <laughs> yeah, I'll be getting that too, man. A dog that excels in certain qualities, woods, etc. And now let me go look at this pedigree, because in this pedigree, they have a description as well. This is Wallace King Cotton, one-time winner, owned by Bob Wallace. And this dog right here is one of the hardest biting dogs of all time. Beat a champion so bad his first time out that he could never be hit again. Broke le broken legs like matchsticks. Wallace is who? Wallace's King Cotton. Okay, I got I got a couple of Wallace's. Uh, uh, I got a couple of pictures of uh, some Wallace's dogs. Hey, hold on, big guy. Get get look back in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, What's man, up with talk about it? Yeah, talk about it. Yeah. What happened now, bro? Talk about hey, it. Six over one, man. Hey, I had to do it, man. This, this is me, bro. Hey, look, you picked up some puppies live in front of the whole world, and they tell us nothing about the puppies, cuz. Huh? Man, you don't hear. Two weeks ago. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they talk about them puppies, man. Yeah. yeah. Which one? I got so many of them, motherfuckers. Yeah, what I'm saying, but you no, know, you know what? You, you you we was live, bro. You showed them to us. You was picking up. You said I'll be back in later. You picked that two puppies about a week about a week or two ago, man. We just trying to know what, what oh, it is, man. Two, them two black ones, two black ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, let me got some blessed. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Oh, I had to give them back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I gave them back. You know what I'm saying? I gave all of them back because I didn't have a good feeling about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, you know, and when <clears throat> shit come to you, you know what I'm saying, it may look good and be good, but in your spirit, if you know that it ain't righteous, then you don't want to bring that to your house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. I so I had to give them back. I had people I could have gave them to to hold, and hey man, y'all hold this here for me, blood and skipper, you know what I'm saying? This was this it was given to me, but I ain't finna pass that on. To nobody else, y'all. I ain't finna hold on to it. So, you know, come to find out, you know what I'm saying? Bro, goddamn, he be doing some shit that he ain't got no business, you know what I'm saying? And he used to steal dogs, you feel me? Uh, so yeah. I find that out after I had got him, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was just that, talking about that. You know, right. So mm -hmm. when I asked him about it, you know what I'm saying? He said, bro, now this shit come from a breed that me and uh 
my partner did, and this is my portion of it, of the little man, and this, that, and the third, but still, and then you know, he say, man, so I asked him about what I heard. I said, well, bro, you know what I'm saying? You team them tell me, bro, that uh, you used to steal a dog, man. I mean, that you steal a dog. He said, bro, they should have told you I used to steal a dog. Well, you should have never said that. You got to get the evil for away from my house because you used to steal a dog. So they yeah, never yeah, you used to steal a dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real. I don't want it, bro. You know, they pretty. They act good. They act like this. But get what, man? Bro, just go on get this shit and kid on with you, bro. And I still got love for you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know where it come from. You ain't showing me no mama, no daddy. You ain't showing me nothing, man. So I'm going to keep it clean and just... Bro, yeah, you yeah, fuck you know, up your blessing. Yeah, fuck up man. Blessing, you know what I'm man. saying? God damn it. It'll fuck my blessing up. And then I don't want no bullshit. Cause, and then I don't want nobody else's shit on my yard. I don't want to bring no kind of bad spirit to my dog to have my yeah. shit getting sick. Cause I, you know, yeah. I I just don't want, so I just gave it back, bro. I don't know if you stole it or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're not giving me enough insight about these dogs for me to keep them. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. uh, so along with that title that you say you used to do, you know what I'm saying? Take these on with you too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. just be careful, bro. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I just left all it like that. Ain't you know good, dog, just like all money ain't good money, huh? Yeah, oh, man. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, we try to be straight up by straight up by shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, and even when my old lady come out there to the garage and look at all the motherfuckers case and baby, motherfuckers don't just give away all these dog here. Motherfuckers just don't give away one, you know what I'm saying? But let alone two and three and all that. But you know, you're right, baby. You know what I'm saying? So after I talked to him about it, and you know, he told me that he used to do that type of shit, but man, you going on take these with you, little bro. You know what I'm saying? And you know, God bless you, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so that's how that deal went on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, we try to do things clean, man. Yeah, man. Keep them. We don't need all that money, shit, man. bro. We got too many dogs. We yeah. got, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, man. Come, come on, man. Oh, you yeah. know, so <clears throat> that's what happened with that, bro. Yep, them blessings coming, man. So yeah. already, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then, so since I done told my family about that, bro, can I please go to bed, bro? Come on, Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Right, hey, y'all. Appreciate y'all, bro. I love y'all, bro. Six of them. We love you too, bro. One hundred. All good. One hundred, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, white hey. white chocolate, man. Uh, I only read about Bob Wallace. You know, I got a little stuff about him. That's what's up, though. For real. He said Bob Wallace was one of my mentor coaches, and he's the one that told me that. That's what's up, man. For real. Hey, let me let me shout out Calico. Cause look, first of all, little, little what's that? Little short Calico. Bro, do I know that was you, man? Square the nuns, man. I'm like, how you get blue? I ain't never seen his name in this chat before. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Shout out to my brother Rose, man. Shout out, bro. Yes, sir. And then Wee Moon said some real shit. He said, Dizam, you'll get a bigger blessing just for that. If you look at yep. I definitely got something for you. Amen. Hey, bro, that's what I'm talking about. See that? That's the blessing right there. You know what I'm saying? saying? Gotta keep the blessings coming, man. I had to tell my mom it's about a family member of ours, man. So um, yeah, I said to my mom, for real. I said, I said yeah. to my mom, I got my mom a preacher, man, but I, I got I got some words, man, from some street preachers. And so uh, they said there was a man in the water, man. He fell off a boat when he was in the water, man. He swam in his tread of water. And he started praying to God. God, help me, save me, God. Don't let me die. Okay. And, and, and a man fly through a helicopter and said, hey, man, you need a right? And the brother in the water say, nah, fam, I'm praying to God. God going to save me. <laughs> Man, he don't sit you. Hold on, hold on. Hey, JT, don't get ahead of me now. You just let me finish oh, my oh, day. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I know the story. I'm letting them tell it. And so, uh, so uh, the man come by in a speedboat. The man say, hey, bro, man, you need some help? Well, say, nah, man, I pray to God. God going to save me. Man, this motherfucker fuck around and drown and go to heaven. He say, God, what happened? Well, God say, well, first I sent you a helicopter. And I see the speedboat. 
Yeah. 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 Like we said, like we said earlier, bro, we we trying to be the next, you know, this generation's uh top dog man or whatever you want to have. You know what I'm saying? So how can we be doing that old shit they used to do? You know what I'm saying? Peddling papers and you know what I'm saying? We keep a square business business on this end. You know what I'm saying? So right. yeah, man, you gotta keep them blessings coming, man. Hey man, yeah, so I want to talk about that. Like, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, cuz. No, no, go ahead, cuz. Cook, cook. All right, yeah, I was gonna just say, man, you know, it's just like this, man. You want good to come to you, but you're going to do bad looking for good to come, right? Sounds it's just like, a, it's just like it's just like a cat, you know what I'm saying? You got a foot, you got a foot problem, but you're going to go to the dentist to get it, to get it <laughs> to repair done. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yes, you know, you got to, you got to put in what you get out. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you can't go to the bank and get money out of that if you ain't putting nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know? So you want to do it right, man. You know what I'm saying? So everybody be blessed for generations and generations of this, man. You know, yeah. you know, I'm just a firm believer in God himself. You know what I'm saying? You know, because, yeah, yeah. I mean, he created all these animals and things, right? I watch my cousin, man, you know what I'm saying, go from from zero, from nothing to voila, like, like this, man. You know, and, you know, a lot of cats around him was trying to take him out like they was hating jealous man and i was telling him like man look he, he called me one day he was like because I, I found a spot you know what i'm saying my one of these cats i had texted got a dog you know what i'm saying with a wolf it's this is this and this and this and that so i say well like you, you know what i'm saying He's like, i'm finna send for him i'm finna get this dog like you know like this red boy jocko is some this this that you know what i'm saying like, well, first off I think you need to go down there and go see him. You know what I'm saying? You need to go meet and greet with the brother. You know what I'm saying? That way he can get a feel for you and everything. You know what I mean? He'll know who, who he's de dealing with firsthand, you know? And from there, man, it's like the rest is history. You know what I'm saying? The dude been, I mean, you know, still here in the game. And look at all of the blessings that come from behind just that alone, Dre. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know, oh, yeah. hey, see, you, you told me not to brag on you, cuz you told me not to brag on you. Well, I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, I, I mean, now I ain't want you to brag on because I ain't big on that one either, you know, but it's just the truth, it's the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and like I say, man, it was a beautiful thing, man. And even right now, look at all of this connection, I'm just here, man, just looking at all of the beauty that from behind all of that, and it was all good intentions. All blessings from God, I feel like, you know, and everything, man, you know, and I salute to you guys too, man. And I ain't a dog, man, either. I'm 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 about to chase the cat. <laughs> you know, so, you know, and, and I, and I respect it, you know what I'm saying? I respect the game though, you know, and I and I like I said, I appreciate the value all that too from you guys, man. And uh my cousin ain't here right now, man, but you know, salute to him too, man. And uh, more blessings to you guys, man, and then more blessings among blessings, man, to you guys, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. For sure. Man. So. That's, that's big, man. Let me plug let me plug my let me plug my brother Rose in though. Hey, so early bro, we was talking about uh yard thieves and stuff. My brother Rose said he got some dope gloves, some corsos, protection dogs on deck, and he got the melon wise. So for those of y'all who don't want to train your pit bull terrier, and, and let me just say this: I don't promote the pit bull terrier being trained for protection dogs, it's just I can't have a dog for protection and a dog for the box. So, or a dog for the confirmation shows. But um, so what I have to have is, I have to have dogs that can do both. That's just like my guns. I can't afford a bunch of different guns. So I gotta have a pistol, a shotgun, and a rifle. And that's it. And everything has to have multiple purposes in my life, man. So for my dogs, they have to be multifaceted. But for those y'all boys who got, those y'all boys who got uh the room for it. Now, how let people like Rose who have the dogs so you can have that Malibu to protect your land so your pit bulls can just be pit bulls? Uh, I have to, I have to over, I have to over accentuate that just because I'm doing something. I mean, I encourage other people to do it. It's just my life only allows a certain amount of space for it. Right, right. Yep. Yep. And knowing your limit, man. Yeah. Knowing your limit. I know too many people that got more dogs than they can handle. You know. 
For real. So you're saying one dog can do it all? I'm no, so yes, I, in my situation, it could. That's a very that's a very fine line to chase between knowing a dog that is breed quality for the actual American Pit Bull Terrier standard, but using it for other things, man. Because honestly, it is extremely difficult to have a dog that that can be proven as a bulldog be worthy of being bred and doing protection work and doing obedience, man. It's a very fine line. And not all dogs can do it, bro. And so um that's where that's why I tell brothers, man, don't do what I say. Don't do as you see me do. Do what's right, man. Get you a protection dog if you want to do protection work and start off with a Corso or, or a Malinois. And if you can't, if you like me and you just don't have the room for it, then I'll show you what I did, man. But it's not to encourage people to move to the American Pit Bull Terrier as the best protection dog. It's to encourage people like, hey, if you live in a spot where there's, where there's crime, to, be, to get you something to, to, to keep them, them yard thieves, them dog thieves off your yard, bro. That's the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause that's what I want. I want when I get my house, man, put my house together. Uh, I want something cause I'm not, I'm not home a lot, but I want something that can go into my house and come out my house. But if something come in there, I don't want to let it get away from there. You know, I want that dog to keep that uh, yeah. intruder on lock until the police can get there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, good. Hey, good. And what I was gonna tell you was, man, honestly, truly, man. Them Corsos for you, bro. With that truck, I would have me a Corso in that truck, bro. No bullshit, cause that that Real pit bull, man, man stopper. Yeah, that 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 that, that pit bull gonna require too much work on the road, man. And I want you to be safe, bro. I want you to put that three fifty seven under the chair, but have that other three fifty seven sit next to you, cocked and loaded, and they can shoot itself. You know what I'm saying? And that's that cane Corso or that Malinois, bro. But that Mal Malinois in a pit, you got to be a person that got time to work. Cause they, they they high energy man, but that Corso is perfect. He can be right up underneath you. You go in the stove, you can leave your doors unlocked to that truck. You go in the stove, and ain't nothing going in that truck, man. That thing gonna eat the oh, face yeah. off anything going in there. Yeah, yeah. Hey Dre, uh, what shares more, a uh, Malinois or uh, a German Shepherd? They call them German Shedders for a reason. The German okay. the Malinois the Malinois doesn't have the dual coat as bad as the German Shepherd does. The German Sh I used to take my German Shepherd to the um, to get it like ferminated. That's what they call. It. That's what they call the care fermentation. They, they mm -hmm. do the top coat, the undercoat. We get back in the car, and my car is covered in fur. How? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so Solo Solo dropped some real info. He said, "Get a Malinois." Corsos are banned in some areas, and and, and Solo, the only reason why I um the only reason why I why I say the Corso is for for the work because like typically my brother to drive. Um, because uh, even my brother Soul drives, and that's why he's sometimes not here in the chat. Uh, for the brothers to drive, they need a dog with a little bit less work to them. And I'm not gonna suggest a bully, so you know, the course was, but I, I wasn't tracking it either. Solo, thank you for the information. But yeah, cuz they get you a pit to keep back on the yard, you know what I'm saying? Cuz 601 got room for you, you know, and if he ain't got room, we'll make room for you. Because when you come through, when you come through AZ, you already know you got family here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm like I'm, I got a little ways before I'm ready for all that. Anyway, I was just questioning, you know, just to kind of get a feel of what I'm, you know, what I'm saying what I need to get, you know, going into that. Because, like I say, I mean, I don't really, you know, what I'm saying want a dog in my truck, but you know, maybe I don't think I want. I don't think me and a dog can do good in this truck because <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't need to, you know, I, I look here, man. Yeah. I told you, I like cats, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, look, two dogs in the truck, nah, that ain't going to work. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I need the dog in my house for sure. Yeah, you know? yeah. I need something going to protect my yard and my house, man, when I'm away. You know, along with the security system and all that. So I really, like I said, I wanted something that's going to really do something to keep intruders you know, even if they try to come in, I don't want them to, if they come in, I don't want them to leave. I don't want you leaving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, want, I want them dogs to be able to hold his ass down and keep his ass in there until them laws get there on his ass. You know what I mean? No, for real. But let me ask you this, cuz. Let me ask you this, cuz. With a big-ass killer like that, who the hell coming over to feed that motherfucker while you on the road? Oh, okay, okay. To, to make it sure, to make it sure, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and then I was gonna have, I was gonna have some like, you know, those automatic feeders and shit too, though. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Just make sure it's set up nice, man. Because I've, I've been you know, bit by that time. Team. I don't have to be working as hard as I'm working right now, either way. You know what I'm saying? I won't be out on the road as much. 
we talking about um I got a two year plan for that house and stuff. So you know, I'll be done paying for this truck in about another year. Uh I got about fifteen more months left on the truck. So uh after that, so you still talking the two year plan, you know. Yeah, I it's a man a thing. yeah, so I got time. Yeah, I got time, man. You know, yeah, we just trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get a feel of what type of dog, because I thought about German Shepherds too, you know. Um just just want to get a feel of what I want to do and, you know, talk to you guys, too, since we're talking, you know, so I can know what type of dog I need to be trying to, you know, look at for that particular job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Nah, man. Hey, I want to I I congratulate you for sticking it out because, cause like, Man, a lot of brothers, man, they get in the trucking thing and they get discouraged, bro, because, man, them, them nights and, and putting them chains in them tires when you go up north, man, that shit ain't cool, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate my you. Man, I'm pushing. I'm pushing hard. I got goals, man. I'm 45. I done thrown away a lot of time, man, doing a lot of fun. Man. You know, so, you know, it's just, you know, that time of my life where I'm a man now, man. You know, and, yeah. I, and I separate all of the, the old me and the new me is two different means. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I don't even want to tolerate even dealing with nobody like I used to be. I'm looking for some, some straightforward stuff, man. You know, some, some guy going to stand on some solid ground for me. You know what I mean? And this is where I'm at right now, man. So, you know, dedication and everything and loyalty and, and staying down to the grind, man, is what it's going to take for you to be successful, you know? So you can't just give up and say, you know, man, all this shit, you know, being a crybaby, you know? You got to handle your business. And I don't give, care what it is. You know what I'm saying? You got to handle your business. And, oh, yeah. and that's the only way for you to be successful, you know? So man. that's just what it is, man. You know, I'm just, I'm going to stand down to the grind, man. Letting God do what he do. I'm doing my job. He doing his. You know what I'm saying? We we yeah. uh, iron and shopping iron. You know what I'm saying? We working together, you know, in routine. You know what I mean? So, you know, he blessed me to get up. I get up and I go to work. You know what I'm saying? My faith without work is dead. So, you know, I just hey. really believe that he going he gonna to make it happen, you know? So that's just what it said, man. Let's speak on it, cuz. Yeah. Hey, man, hey, man you, uh, you hit the nail on the head right there, man. Uh, but this is what I'm going to do, man. So my brothers, cuz, y'all stay in the chat. For those of y'all in the chat over there, man, we're going to say our parting shots, man. But I'm going to shut this thing down around the two-hour and 45-minute mark. So we got about three minutes. I want to talk to my brothers a little bit offline, man. Those of y'all who are members, let me know what y'all want to do. If y'all members only live or if y'all want to, you know what I'm saying, hit me up, man. Let me know. Hit me in the comments. Hit me on my email. And uh, I'm going to give y'all my – if you're a member, you can get my personal number. Because I have two. I have a business number and a personal number. If you're a member, you can uh, you can get my personal number, man. So, um Y'all boys, man, hit me in the email, hit me in the chats, man. But cuz, you know what I'm saying? If you want to say anything, big A, uh JT, oh, yeah. y'all say what y'all need to say, we're gonna close this thing out. Okay. Hey, what's man, it's your you boy guys, JT. Man. Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy JT, man. Another Wednesday night live, man. Come in at y'all, man. Salute everybody that's in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Salute all my showgun partners, man, my showgun brothers, man. Uh, we know we're going to keep this thing going, man, for the love of this breed, man. American people will tell you, man. Oh, yeah, you can check me out on Facebook, APBT, uh, Top USA APBT, man. You know what I'm saying? YouTube channel on the way. But shout out everybody just for is rocking with us. Salute, baby. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to send a shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Love y'all, man. Y'all, y'all the fuel. You know, y'all the fuel. Uh, send a shout out to all the channels, man, and 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 come out to the digital dog show. Show yeah. the support. You know what I'm saying? Any your dog, man. Promote yourself, man. We all here for that. And that's what we here for, man. And and we all learning together. You know, and uh, we gonna keep it moving forward. Forward, yes. man. Yes, sir. Hey, man, that boy Solo done put a five piece in the chat. Tip, tip. Chill, chill. Chill, chill. Chill. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. Thank chill. you so much, man. Um, yeah, man. Uh, Kush, like I said, Kush, JT, Big A, y'all stand by, man. I want to send my special shout outs to all my samurai foot soldiers in the chat. Brother Solo, I see you out there, man. You representing, man. Uh, who else? What other foot soldiers we had here, man? 
Uh, I want to give y'all, Brother Party Boy Woods, thank you, thank you for joining us, man. We appreciate that so much. Thank you for having a belief in, in our cause and, and supporting that cause, man, and taking that next step to uh, to show your support. Uh, man, it, it, it's it's been it's going on in a major way, y'all. This digital dog show right here. I hope y'all really enjoy it, man. We got some celebrities we're we're, we're asking to come out and actually deliver y'all's names and say y'all's names and y'all dog's names out there, or at least your kennel names, um, to show y'all the the appreciation that we have from Samurai Kennels to y'all, man. Uh, the Shogun Army really salute you. We're really we're really proud of the movement we have going on, and we're proud of y'all because y'all are the best people, man. Y'all really are the best people, man. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna shut this live down so me and my brothers can can parlay for a little bit because I know on, on my brothers on the East Coast it's going on 12 o'clock y'all time for our time right now. It's uh it's uh, it's only it's only 8:45 at night at my time, man. But um, I want to be respectful of that. My kids got school in the morning, man. So I'm gonna shut it down at this time, man. But uh. It's, it's been blessings. Uh, peace, blessings, y'all. Be safe and stay dangerous, man. Uh, yes, sir. And keep, and keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that thing with around in the chamber. Scratch, courtesy, scratch hard into the rest of the week, man. Y'all boys, be safe and be blessed. Yes, Shogun, over blessings, and out, man. Yes, sir.